It's like rain when you're getting raped. It's a free ride when you're already raped. It's a good advice when you just got raped. And who would have thought it's... You can't say that word. <laughs> can't say that word at all. No, that's going to get us in trouble. As soon right. as I heard what song it was, I'm like, oh, it's this is about rape. <laughs> uh, now, did did you think that because of just the, the, the cadence, the possible rhyme scheme, or was it because of the look in my eyes? <laughs> it was the You're twinkle like, in your eye. I've seen that look one time before. I've seen the twinkle in I your eye. And I know what happened to yeah. that poor girl. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the one. Now, you questioned, even not knowing what it was, whether we should do this at the top of the episode. I just think it's funny that if there's any time that anyone's going to hear something to get us removed, we shouldn't do it in the first 30 seconds of the pod. And the first thing that... Because if they're just <laughs> like scrubbing through a bit at a time, they're going to hear that right away and get us cancelled, so... I, I think people usually start in the middle and then work outwards <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in both directions. Yeah, maybe. I think we're okay. I definitely, I definitely if, if I'm listening to it, and especially episodes that I'm uh, not invited to be on. I don't know what you're talking I about. I usually will skip ahead to like 10, 15 minutes in and then maybe like 35, 40 minutes in. Yeah. Just to like sort of see what's going on. Get a feel for it. Get see how much it. the show is collapsing without you. Correct. That's fair. This, yeah. So that definitely won't be the first thing that the uh, YouTube scanner bots uh, pick up uh, within, I don't know, two weeks of the channel getting monetized. So <laughs> yep. that's uh, that's pretty sweet. P- P.S. We've made like three dollars already. Really? Yeah. So wow. I owe you a buck fifty. Meh. We'll put it towards food later. We will put it towards food later. Yeah. You can. Okay. Look, you. You buy me lunch, <laughs> and I'll give you a dollar fifty. What do you think about that? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that. I think that's fair for everyone. Uh, that's fair for most. I think when you take into account reparations, that's fair for everyone. I'm, yeah, my people are owed a lot. My people my, are owed a lot by your people. Uh, yeah, both of our white ancestors had. A, it is well documented that. Tigers have been oppressed by snow leopards for <laughs> generations, institutionally. It is it is that that cold mountain blood in our skin, <laughs> and your warm no, tropical no. Indian blood that boils over. Why would you Why would you do this? Because you're from the Bengal region of India. On this, the day of my daughter's <laughs> wedding, I you can't are, believe you are exceptionally hairy for a tiger. <laughs> for a tiger, yeah. you're you are double thick. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, not specific to hair. I have been described as double thick before. You're double thick, <laughs> double thick hog. <laughs> a, a DTH, a DTH, a double thick hog. Damn. That's you. <laughs> uh, we were we were watching something and there were brag and there were i don't yeah <laughs> i was using my eyes and my television i watch things i don't remember what it was it was a tv show or something and they were going to a like hollywood animal oh it was uh, hell's kitchen and they were going to like a hollywood animals like where they have all the trained animals that are in movies and stuff yeah and they were talking about like, oh, who here likes whatever, whatever like pussy. The, who here likes the Hangover? And then they're like, oh me. And they're like, who? He, and this is from, I don't know when the Hangover was popular. And then two thousand and like the whole time while they're talking, all I kept saying was, show me the fucking tiger, show me the fucking tiger, yeah, show me the fucking tiger. And then when they got to the tiger, and I just vocally out loud said, it's so pretty. <laughs> Like, and I got a weird look. Just instinctually. Yeah, like, but it was like, uh, they said it was a Siberian Bengal mix. Oh. So it had all of the good parts of both and none of the bad parts. Okay. So. What it, are the bad parts of Siberian? 
I mean, it's cold. It's Russia. They're it's, also they're it's also homophobic. Well, they're also bigger cats. Yeah, they are. They've got bigger paws, and they're like they got bigger haunches. Double thick. Double thick. They're they're a double thick <laughs> hog. Whereas the Indian ones are like sleeker, smaller, like smaller faces, but are longer faces. Yeah, and they also um, constantly try too, and too much muzzle. They also constantly try and cheat on their wives with white women in America. Yeah, because the, uh, arranged marriages just stopped mm-hmm. in in the Bengal tiger world, and they just got the internet and are really. They really uh, got their foot on the gas. You'll be showing me bobs and vagina? <laughs> Please send me bobs and vagina. Uh, I love Tiger Romeo dialing. <laughs> <laughs> I... Hello, hello, baby Joe. <laughs> you, just, you just hear chuffing on the other end of the line. <laughs> 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 And they're like, uh, hello? <laughs> I, love <Yeah. laughs> I love Indian tigers yeah. <laughs> calling white women in America yep. and just shopping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would say, uh, how, what is this? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, hello, that was me. You would, you are having sex with me now. <laughs> you will be my wife now. You are wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. It's perfect. I feel like I was going to look up something, but now I can't remember. Oh been... yeah. <laughs> what you got? What's what's on the docket? <laughs> I just want to find some racist Indian tiger cartoons. <laughs> I want to stereotypically, like, oh, no, it's giving me the wrong kind of Indian. Oh. It's giving me the pow-wow, not the boop-boop. Yeah. <laughs> the two classic types. Uh, I love on. how it's not a podcast without a Google image search. Of very funny images? Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, my God. I, don't, I do not know what this is. The many faces of Chief Wahoo. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a chef. There's it- a pinhead. There's a Picasso. There's Ooh, a cubism. Uh, a Chief Whitey. Uh, a Chief Jemima. Wow. <laughs> okay, so these these were and a Krishna Wahoo. Okay, I thought these were actual variations of the Cleveland Indians logo. It appears to be just more, more and varying racist versions of the Chief Wahoo logo. Now, is this? I, a further question. Yeah, uh, I see. So we have uh, black, Jewish, and Chinese versions of the uh, Cleveland Indians mascot. Also, what am I even saying? There is no Cleveland Indians nope. mascot anymore. Now it's the Guardians, which are named after a traffic thing on <laughs> the bridge. A traffic thing. In Cleveland, I think. Sure. So, I don't know. First idea, best idea. But, yeah. Why, why think hard when you don't have to? Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is adorable. That's adorbs as fuck. What what can people search to see that cute thing? <laughs> I don't know. I put in racist India tiger cartoon. <laughs> that's what came that, that's, up. Is that, that's the search term? Racist India tiger cartoon? Yeah. Okay, so search that. One, you'll find some cool Cleveland Indian stuff. And then how many, how uh, far al- down? Almost at the bottom of the first page. Near the bottom of the first page, the goddamn cutest picture, like drawing of two tiger cubs you'll ever see. So it's win-win. You get racism and you get cute. Now, if we can find some cute racism, all the better. Now, what have you got? This appears to be a this lot one. Of- this one's cute. I mean that that's a lot like what I, it's a picture of a panda that said dude that says dude racism is su- stupid I'm black white and Asian and everyone loves me which is pretty cute I like I basically do the same bit oh baby Hitler <laughs> all the hits Lit- little Hitler <laughs> yeah like whenever someone accuses me of being racist which is rare but <laughs> it can it can happen people have been wrong before tell everyone I'm Peruvian. They laugh and call me Mexican with forever alone classic <laughs> meme face. Uh, yeah, so whenever I'm falsely accused of being racist or, and, or falsely imprisoned for being racist uh, by, an, by an Austrian man who thinks I'm his daughter, uh, it's a guy where... <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm enjoying this. So it's a 
very white dude with a like a high school kid like a high school kid with a stenciled sign that's uh, can I say this while I'm saying it <laughs> okay let's be clear clearly let, this let, is not what Scott's reading off the screen this is him taking his own interpretation let me be clear this is these are the words of a young white boy and not me President Barack Obama and also I'm gay so <laughs> The sign that the kid is holding, and he wrote himself and did not get advice from me on, says, If I was black, I'd be picking cotton, but I'm white, so I'm picking you for prom? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> well, I did type in cute racism, and that's what came up. Honestly, that kind of fits the bill. It's pretty perfect. But anyway, I said, when, I, when I'm so wrongly accused of being racist, I say, look, I'm black. And I'm white, and I'm orange, and I'm Chinese, <laughs> so leave me alone. I literally can't be racist. Is that what's been saving me the whole time? My colors and ethnicity? I'm sorry, I was reading something else. I was racist. gonna say, what, what are you reading? Uh, so it's a mother and like two pageant girls, it I looks guess. like. So, and it appears to be like a text conversation. Uh, that sentence makes no sense. My mother certainly isn't a bike. That, that sentence make no sense. Pardon me. That sentence isn't. make no sense. My mother certainly isn't a bike. And then the other person says, it's makes not make. Are you black because you text like black people talk? And the response, that is very racist. Uh, <laughs> then the, back to the other person. Your dad might be a raghead. Ask your mom when she gets in from work. Is the tramp... <laughs> yeah it's a tough sentence uh ask your mom when she gets in from work is the tramp works if your dad was a n-word <laughs> uh i don't know what that has to do with the picture that's I, just, I don't know that was just a lot going on maybe that was just the woman who was involved i couldn't tell let's you. just go back to baby hitler let's go back to baby hitler he ain't hurting anybody <laughs> just, just boys being boys just locker room. if you just locker room talk had a time machine <laughs> Would you go back and fuck baby Hitler? <laughs> Just to say, I'm not reading that. No, but like, I'm not reading the Agatha Christie book. I'm not doing it. Also, I'm not sure that Agatha Christie actually wrote that book. <laughs> Ten little beep. I don't think. I think that might be fake news. You don't know. Have you, have you read every Agatha Christie? Murder on the Orient Express, murder on the Nile, murder at Steve's house, murder at... Murder in that pussy. Murder in that pussy. <laughs> Agatha Christie's murder, murder that. and that pussy. <laughs> Starring Kenneth Branagh as Hercule Poirot. <laughs> Which, I don't know enough about Poirot. That's a fat kitty cat. That's, that's you. <laughs> that's a double thicker. I searched Scott Henson and it gave me a, the fattest tiger in the world. <laughs> that's, a, that's a double thick boy. <laughs> that's you. See, okay, that guy... Okay, I'll say a few things about that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, look, no one's going to sit here and tell you he's not a thick boy. But he, like, wears it pretty well. Go back to that sitting guy. Because there's the lying down one that just looks like he's slowly becoming a liquid. But this guy, he's proud of his size. <laughs> I think he, like, considering... That's, that's the Chrissy Metz of That's tigers. the Chrissy Metz of Tigers. <laughs> 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 I wasn't ready for that. Uh. Chrissy, Chrissy Metz is Mike and Molly, right? Like, she's the she show. She plays both, yeah. She's the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she does that thing where she, like, dresses up, uh, like, half, like, her left side as, turn a, this as way a guy. And yeah, your exactly. Mike and yeah. Turn this way in your Molly. It's a real Victor Victoria situation. <laughs> but no, that that tiger can, can work it. He, like, he's 1,700 pounds and proud of every ounce of every every single ounce <laughs> look how and look how i'm using imperial measurements for you people notice how i didn't say he's uh 800 kilograms and proud of every uh, centigram <laughs> oh almost made you choke on your drink with centigram <laughs> baby whale you almost made me baby whale <laughs> 
What's today's sponsor? What have we got? A raspberry peace I got tea? a razzleberry. Oh, pardon me. But it's also raspberry. Oh. A raspberry peach tea. Peace tea. I didn't, I didn't really have a lot of the peace teas. I was more of a... Uh, Arizona, an Arizona like a man. Gentleman. However, these as far things as are tea and reasonably cans. priced, and uh, are, there's a lot of variety. Yeah, I feel like our Arizona cans are not the advertised ninety nine cents. No. These Even though are, it, these ones are eighty nine, it cents. says it on the yeah. can. And yeah. same, oh, same with goddamn Fago. Fago. Fago says a buck twenty nine on the bottle. Yeah. I have never paid less than three dollars no. for one. Never. Import fees, baby. Also, I'm off the Fago, so I'm not a Fago boy. I anymore. heard you're off Fago. What happened? I don't know. I got bored of it. Were you molested by Fago? <laughs> yeah, I got molested at, at the gathering of the Juggalos. I mean, that's gonna happen. Yeah. You shouldn't blame Fago for that. You should blame I, your true. own decisions that is for true. that. I, look what I was wearing. Look. First of all, look what you're wearing. Second of all, if you didn't get molested at gathering of the Juggalos, you oh. should actually be kind of insulted. Ima imagine being the one woman that doesn't get oh molested my God. at the Gathering of the Juggalos. She goes home unmolested. Unmolested. That's sad. Nobody even threw piss at me. Was she too pretty? <laughs> <laughs> she hadn't, she was the only woman there who hadn't had a funeral for her dead baby. <laughs> Guys, 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 don't know if it's come up on the pod before. It, I don't. If it has, it was years ago. It was years ago. It would have been, yeah, it would have been a long yeah. time ago. Go ahead <laughs> and Google Juggalo Baby Funeral. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. He's not, he's not just the founder. I'm also a dead baby <laughs> juggalo. <laughs> With a double thick hog. <laughs> With a double thick hog. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, there's lots of varieties of the PCs, which I like. And they're, a, and they're 89 cents. Yeah, I can't go wrong with 89 cents. I There's a, a mango green tea that I just had okay. for the first time. Very, very good. There's one called Snowberry. I, that's the one I was going to bring up. Ah. Because here here's a way to trick me into buying your product. Put the word snow in it? Partly, but not exclusively. Hmm. Uh, I like mystery. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like mystery in what I eat and drink. Okay. And because like there's no such thing as, as a, a snowberry, snow especially spelled S N O, I believe, yeah. not S N O W. Yeah. If I recall. Uh, so I'm like, ooh, it, it, it turns me into like a uh, incredulous gay guy too. I'm like, ooh, snowberry. <laughs> Let's try this. Let's see what this tastes like. Apparently, there is a berry commonly known as the snowberry. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Show's over. Uh, it's commonly known as snowberry, waxberry, or ghostberry. Is it edible? Mm -mm -mm. Is pasty mm -mm. feeding me poison? Mm -mm -mm. Or is it like gooseberries mm -mm. and I'm just gonna get mm -mm. diarrhea? Mm -mm. No, wait, that's mm -mm. not gooseberries. Mm -mm. That's mm -mm. what are those mm -mm. red berries that mm -mm. fuck you up? <laughs> um. Poison berries? I don't think they're called poison berries. Well, I know you can't eat holly berries. Holly no, berries holly, make you sick. Holly is poison. But just like if you like if you go walking in the woods. Gozen berries. You can just say I don't know. That's don't, a reasonable answer. Ra ra a rasp berry? It's not a rasp berry. Straws berries? Marion berry. Snaws berries. Marion berry, mayor of Washington, DC, caught smoking crack. Uh, da, 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 da. What a king. That you can eat and then die. Oh, the most poisonous berries. Uh, nightshades? Yeah. Uh, what do you got? Moonseed? Man. White baneberry? How come every poison berry has a cool fucking name? Elderberry? Wait, you can eat el el Oh, maybe. Elderflower, I guess you can yeah. eat. Yeah. A lily of the valley, which is in Breaking Bad. Yes, and is also an Oscar-winning movie for Sidney Poitier. And by that, I mean Lilies of the Field. Lilies of the Field. Uh, Mesorium and Flax-Leaved Daphne. Huh. None of those things were oh. the things you were thinking of? Was it elderberries? No, they're just like the red ones on bushes. This one. I guess that. Baneberry, Bittersweet... Burning bush. I got a burning Choke bush. Chokecherry, cotton Easter. Maybe cotton Daphne's Easter. Daphne's dogwood. That one looks familiar. 
I think that's on a tree, though. Elder, that's, elderberries, that's a, holly, horse nettle, ivy, jack in the pulpit. What, I shouldn't be eating ivy? Jerusalem cherries. Well, everyone, <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah, those Lily are, of the Valley, mistletoe, moonseed, nightshade, pokeweed. Fucking Virginia, moonseed and nightshade are so cool sounding. I want to and eat them. And super racist sounding. <laughs> Virginia creeper, <laughs> wild sound wild cherry. Wait, uh, I can't. You. You? Me? You. You huh. berries. Those are all ones. Um, speaking, of speaking of Breaking Bad, uh, thoughts and prayers going out to Bob Odenkirk. I don't know if you heard. No. He apparently had some kind of emergency medical issue while Shit. filming uh, Better Call Saul this week. So really? I don't know any further details. I don't think he's dead. But I hope he's not dead. I like hope, him a lot. Let's hope he's okay. Goddamn. See if I can find out any information on the old Twitter machine. Um, please don't be dead. Rushed to hospital after collapsing on the set of a show, Better Call Saul. Uh, huh. but I don't see... I don't see any updates, so... Yeah, I hope he's okay. Well, at the very least, we got to see him as a very sad man in a sketch in uh, season two of I Think You Should Leave. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm a big car guy. I got I, I got triples <laughs> in some cars. Uh, per, yeah. So according to I guess Brian Cranston released a a statement. He's in hospital in Albuquerque receiving the medical attention he needs, but his condition is not known to the public as yet. Damn. Please take a moment in your day to think about him and send positive thoughts and prayers his way. Thank you. I take you. a moment in my day to think about him every day. I I yeah. look. I block off about. 45 minutes a day to individually think about each every cast member, member of, of Mr. Mr. Show. Show. Absolutely. Uh, I do a little Od Odenkirk. I do a little Cross. I do a little Ackerman. I do a little Porter. I do a little Tompkins. I do a little Silverman. Mm -hmm. I do a little Tally. I do a little Kenny. I do a little... I say a little prayer for you. I... <laughs> <laughs> um, how much deeper can I go on Mr. Show. Ryan Posehn. Yes. Posehn, in fact. Yeah. Black, comma, Jack. A mm -hmm. little bit. Um, that's gotta be... We're talking everybody. only OG, right? We're not talking about the Bob and Dave. Not with Bob and Dave. Yeah. Only Mr. Show. Uh, what else? There's a second bitch. Can you pull... There's a second bitch. There's a, there's a non-Jill Tally bitch. Yep. I can, I'm looking at her face right now. Sergeant... Fatso Jetsum. <laughs> <laughs> you also did you mention Tom Kenny? Voice I did, of SpongeBob. I, I did I, mention I, I Tom Kenny. Voice of SpongeBob. Uh, you got... Oh, Jay Johnson. Jay Johnson. Jay Johnson. Let's get. Let's be very clear. <laughs> very clear about story of Everest star mm -hmm. Jay Johnson. Uh, Johnston. Did you? Johnston or Johnson? Uh, Johnston. Johnston. T. Yeah. Uh, also, Starburns of uh, oh, Community Fame. Dino uh, You got Jerry Minor. Ah, oh, fuck me. I should have got Jerry Minor. I'm like, they gotta have a black guy. Uh, what else you got? Yeah, Jerry Minor. Did you say Scott Adsit? No! Scott Adsit of 30 Rock fame. Yep. That's uh, right. Do, do. Okay, Who's I, the other I think, bitch? I think those are all of the main... Besides the one other bitch the who I'm main forgetting. people, yeah. That's, who got... Uh, I can't... Was she chunky on... John Ennis? Didn't say John Ennis, but should have. Mm. Seen him live. Have uh, you no. seen him? No. We saw him at the UCB on one PWG trip. Was it when I yeah. went? Yeah. Uh, Brett Paisel. Who? Brett Paisel. Who? What are you... What are you talking... Oh, okay. That's the, that's <laughs> the other woman. Oh, that's not who I'm thinking of, actually. Uh, Jeanette Andrade. Uh, no. Teresa Mulligan, May I sh the Becky one Thire. The one I'm thinking of could be either of those two. She sound those sound like her name. I can't remember if she was chunky on Mr. Show, but she definitely got chunky later in life. Hmm. She's kind of blonde. Mm. It's gonna. This no. might have to be independent research. This might have to be off air, off air research instead of me looking it up on my phone. Who dad other bitch on Mr. Who, Show? Who dad? I sh yeah. I should have got Ennis Jerry Minor. Maybe adds it. 
I'm happy with the rest though. Eh. I'm gonna on a scale of one to ten, with six being the highest, I'm gonna give myself an eight. An eight. Fair. Bold. Uh, I would have given you 0.5. I mean, that's pretty good with six being the highest. Yeah. Anywho. What, what else is going on? on? As you're saying, uh, Peace Steve, uh, unofficial sponsor of the podcast. Yeah. Since you only oh, have yeah. water. And I had a coffee. It it, uh, it went to heaven in my tummy. Mmm. Which, uh, if, if you're, if you fancy yourself a, uh, vor fetishist, you could go to heaven in my tummy, too. <laughs> <laughs> what about cock vor? What about cock vor? <laughs> Let's get into it. Let's talk about eating someone with your dick <laughs> with hole. With your dick hole. Where would you, you wouldn't even go anywhere. You would just I thought be you were living say, in the penis. I thought you were going to say, where would you do that? I'm like, I don't know, the, at, uh, the, the mall? Ho Home Depot? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you just so be where would it, yeah you just be you just be the stretching urethra? stretching or is it foreskin? Oh that, no you you I think you go further than that oh, you're no, not just like you're not I, just wearing assumed, you're not just wearing the head as a hat. I assumed cockvore was just the foreskin going over the person. No, I think you're going in, in the, the guy's like, dick. penile sounding. Yeah, I Pe think no, I think is grosser to me than penile sounding. I think. At post cockvore, I think your dick looks like a snake that swallowed something too big for it. <laughs> That's a good look. That's a very good look. <laughs> I can get behind that. I, I love it when it was like, first of all, I don't know how they did it. But... <laughs> But secondly, I just like love looking at the snake afterward because he's like he's kind of ashamed. He's like, uh, oh, someone's eyes are bigger than their stomach. <laughs> That's what I was laughing about a snake whose eyes are bigger than their stomach. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, it's like it's like those anacondas in uh, in South America. Well, they, they don't want none. They don't want none unless you've got buns, huns. Yep. Uh, but they those anacondas that eat like those full deer, yeah, and then like can't and then can't move. Yeah, no. like they're physically stuck yeah, in place. I have a whole big mammal in me. <laughs> yeah, or well, unless it's John Voight, then it then it pukes him up and then he winks at you and then dies. Yeah, and becomes conservative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, becomes as if he wasn't already. Was he always with, like I, I in the sixties? Seven. I feel like all of Hollywood was really really liberal in the sixties and seventies because they were all gay. Because they're all gay. Yeah. Everyone was fucking Marlon Brando. Yeah. Or getting fucked by Richard Pryor. <laughs> or getting fucked by Richard Pryor. By but never that the meat, opposite. That meaty cock. Richard no, there's Pryor. no... Blacks don't bottom. <laughs> We've had this discussion many times. It's actually true. Blacks don't bottom. Which we, which we confirmed with a card-carrying gay man. No, I think he said they do, and I disagreed oh, with yeah, him. Oh, yeah, and we called him a liar. We called him a liar. <laughs> Shut up, Dave. That, what do you know? <laughs> that, was, that was like a big argument we had. And he was like, no, they do. And I was Sometimes like, Sometimes they no. do. I'm like, are you lying? It seems like you're lying. Why are you lying for black guys? They don't need you to lie for me. It's so... So, yeah. So... I stand by my, my, my hetero knowledge of gay black men that they do not bottom. Yeah. As opposed to a, a gay... <laughs> man who has had sex with black who has probably topped a black guy <laughs> I think he told us he has yeah and we called him a liar exactly and we I stand by it I don't believe him I don't believe seeing I don't, is believing Scott I don't believe that's his real name David Lynch there's already one of those <laughs> there's a more famous David yeah, Lynch yeah get out of here uh, oh I'm Christopher Columbus <laughs> <laughs> the director. <laughs> why? Why has nobody canceled him for having the same name as Christopher Columbus? That's true, and he killed a lot of Indians. <laughs> a lot of Indians. Uh, we were watching. Uh, anyone who cares to know, anybody wants to know. Um, I very much enjoy animal attack videos, zoo attack videos, private collection attack videos. I like Almost it when stupid humans get hurt really bad by animals. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I was reviewing the amazing footage of, um, I, I don't remember, I'm sure you saw it, but years ago there was that video of that guy getting attacked by a bison in Yellowstone. That rings where, a bell. where he was like hiding behind the tree and the bison just like <laughs> gored was, the fuck out of him. Was much smarter than that. Uh, I love those videos so much. Like I, nothing makes me happier than people getting hurt. Yeah. Like I. For sure. 
other other than lions because they're retarded i love i i care more about animals than i do about almost every single person that's alive on the planet for sure no question so anytime that like uh a tiger or a lion in a in a circus or zoo attacks somebody or when that guy tried to kill himself by jumping in that tiger that enclosure in china rocked or uh I mean, dicks out for Harambe. That that obviously dicks happened. out for Harambe. Uh, but, but like, this the suicide one is win win. Like, because <laughs> yeah. it's not even a, a technically bad thing happening to the person. E- like, everyone's happy at the end of the day. <laughs> Human dead, animal got to kill someone. Animal got to kill someone that everybody got to see. Yeah. And think about this: you get to live on forever as cells inside that tiger. Yes. Or multiple tigers because there was two or three of them i hate that youtube has become it's the best way of scattering your ashes (laughs) yes you 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 become hair cells and (laughs) and skin cells and you know living especially especially for those double thick hairy ones and also poop yeah for the double thick (laughs) and also a lot of poop (laughs) but i hate that youtube has become so like a like censoring of things because I used to be able to find... Well, now let's not say anything too bad about Money Daddy YouTube. <laughs> well, it's just... I think they're pretty cool. There definitely wasn't someone who was uh, trying to make a comment on one of uh, maybe our most recent podcast before this and literally just because they use the word gay or queer not even in a yeah. derogatory sense literally in a positive sense youtube like immediately filters and like, deletes the I, comment like I, you, you I can't am, use those words i am they're a, bad words i am a gay man and i support this podcast no nope. delete <laughs> you cannot be yeah. illegal which is and, and actually it ended up very funny because the only way they ended up being able to get the post through was through some like really convoluted and silly like wordplay on it like to get around <laughs> it and trick YouTube so what YouTube is actually doing <laughs> okay is is forcing you to use pig latin <laughs> not to use pig latin but to to mock the very thing you're trying to post right. about earnestly which right. I think is kind of sinister and also love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The only way funny. you can talk about being gay is by making fun of being gay. <laughs> By you, accident. You, yeah, you can't openly say, I'm a gay man and I love this podcast. Yeah. But you have to say something about like, oh, because this podcast talks about being gay or being not straight. I ha- I love it so much. Yeah, or like having to spell it G-H-E-Y. <laughs> gay. I'm a gay. It's like... Um, and you can't can, say like transgender. You have to say transgender, which is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture people having to post the word gay in the way that Jerry Lewis would say it in a movie where he found out that a character was gay. Gay! So like, <laughs> He's a gay. Oh, a gay lady. Gay lady. <laughs> I really want to see that Holocaust clown movie. I, I True, we all do. I, all, all look, we're all <laughs> xing off our calendars day by day, waiting for the day yeah. that the day the clown cried becomes public domain. <laughs> we're all waiting. It's like twenty twenty four or something. It's pretty. It, it's coming. Pretty, I think it's pretty close. It's coming. No, it, it can't be that close. It's that it, close. It's seventy five years, isn't it? It's it's not. It. I think it was because it, it's not the seventy five years public domain thing. It was something stipulated by Jerry Lewis. It was maybe 50 years after the movie came out or something mm. or or a certain number of years after he died or something. I'm not exactly sure. I got 2024 in my It does head. say 2024. It says No, give me the thing. But it'll again. be unearthed give from its the from its crypt in the library just of Congress. Fucking showed me. Uh okay. I think it said something of, yeah, viewings and footage. Uh, yeah, but people have seen 
parts of it or something, and maybe the script is out there because I feel yeah, like and people. I feel like Pat Oswald has like done like readings of yeah, the script yeah, and yeah. stuff, or I, David Cross or both. No, or... I think I feel like Patton. I feel like I heard Patton talk about it. Yeah. Um. There's been parts of it that have been put into a documentary okay. about it, but uh, I just want to see the movie. I guess it's sold part. It's sold at public auction in 2018. And okay. yeah, it has something to do. Who yeah, bought it? Martin Shkreli, and then no one can see it. Maybe. Uh, it, you're you are right though. It is something to do with like a certain amount of time after he died. Oh, it's after he died. Yeah, I saw. Like the thing is, like it came up, and now it's gone. So well, you tried. Uh, not very hard, apparently. Yeah. Um, maybe the one that says unfinished and kind of public domain. Yeah, click, click the flashing gif that says get bigger dick now. <laughs> uh, none. Oh, this is just a list of public domain stuff. Uh, this one says... It's something like that. Yeah, apparently there's parts of it that are... Oh, it's 20, from 2016. Apparently there was parts of it online in 2016. Ooh. Uh, man, what a weird fucking movie <laughs> to make. I'm so excited. I, oh, oh, here, I can't wait. Here's what's public domain for 2021, but uh, it's going to be a lot of old stuff that no one cares about. Would that all be 75-year stuff? Yeah, this is all 75-year stuff. So what are we looking at, 1946? Uh, that would be correct. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> the, I, I remember seeing an article recently about... Um, I don't remember, I don't know exactly who it was, but somebody fighting against, because I guess every time that Mickey Mouse comes yeah, up, Disney fights Does with something. all of their might to get the rules changed, but it's yes. only specifically for them. Yes. Because they have so much money and power. Yeah. But now I guess there's some... Something with Mickey's coming up. 2020... 2 yeah or 2024 i think it's what, like i think it's quite soon for the disney mickey shit i'm pretty um, sure um why isn't mickey mouse public domain uh no i just want mickey mouse public domain. why don't you just tell me the name of the movie you want to see uh what is public domain how is it used 2024 mickey mouse will finally enter the public domain damn 2024 is a big year Jerry Lewis and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Jerry Lewis and I, we Mickey can Mouse. watch the day the clown cried while legally drawing Mickey Mouse porn <laughs> and posting um, it on the internet. So yeah, I, I read the article that there's a, there's like a lawyer who is f f was fighting against them being able what's, to uh, legally. What's the lawyer's last name? I don't know. Jews and Jew. Wow. Uh, Kirkland. Wow, Andrew. No, it's not like that. It's J O U S E N. Oh, he's Dutch. J O U. <laughs> J O O. Yeah, J O O. Yeah, he's, he's a Dutch lawyer. <laughs> oh, we saved it. <laughs> Ar Arno Juice and Juice. We can keep. <laughs> we can keep doing the show. I'm gonna break that down. It was the <laughs> as you should. <laughs> Uh, it was touch and go for a minute with Juice and Jew, but we pulled it. It was a buzzer beater. Pull it out. <laughs> Juice and Jew. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway. That's so honestly like... <laughs> he's taking up the good fight. <laughs> I couldn't have imagined something worse <laughs> so, <laughs> that's worse than anything i would have no done. there's worse things than that i know there's worse but it just, i was just expecting that I, I mean i appreciate that you went the extra mile i was expecting like a very boring like berg or or stein mm -hmm. which at the end of the day is that even really a joke anymore or are we just doing racism but <laughs> that might just be straight up racism <laughs> but the fact that you went over the top is actually better Mm -hmm. And he's Dutch. Let's be very clear. Dutch could be South African. He's Dutch. <laughs> okay. He's six foot eight. Yep. He, he's a lawyer and on the side is a kickboxer. Yeah. Also, uh, you guys didn't see this coming. He's black. He's also Muslim. He's a, he's a black Muslim. <laughs> he's, a, he's a Muslim Ernesto Hoost. Yeah. <laughs> Arno Jews and Jews. <laughs> 
K1 middleweight champion. Oh, Arno. Arno Juice and Chew. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I hope a Twitter account for Arno Jews and Jew comes up. Oh, man, absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to look it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you think the you think yeah, the handle you know. might be available? It's probably too many letters, honestly. You might have to just do last name. You might be able to do the last name, though. I don't There's know how common it is. There's nothing that comes up for that at all, so we're safe. It's open, guys. Are no Jews and Jew. <laughs> I'm glad I. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I followed your your new Twitter account. Oh yeah, the uh, not Syrian soft path because <laughs> yeah. they ran out of letters. <laughs> but they they said that was definitely your new account. That you uh, should follow. That, that I should unfollow, unfollow your old account, and yeah. it's definitely not someone else pretending to be you based on a thing we said a few weeks ago. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. So that's cool. Um. Oh, I fucked it up. Uh... <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing. Don't don't you fucking worry about it. Did you register the wrong Twitter? <laughs> yeah. The... <laughs> I didn't see... I did not see the most recent post from five days ago that said I would read your fuckface Scott, but uh, somebody already made it eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Their only tweet, I love pussy. <laughs> yeah, that's from at fuckface Scott. Yep. That's a pretty good... I mean, that's a good Twitter. One post, eight years ago, loves pussy. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Um, anyways. My, my Twitter should be have so we, good. Have we said what the name of the podcast is? Who are we? What our, what our handles are? Give us money? No. Should we or just fuck it at this point let's say 41 it. minutes in is that the right time to it say feels, that this is the worst year of our lives and right to me and my name is drew and i am at sarian soft pause on twitter and instagram and i think i'm drew sarian on letterboxd and i'm scott for the time being until the transition <laughs> oh, to a cum pet <laughs> I mean, if you want to get into that, we can get into nope. that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nope. Just leaving it out there. Uh, you can get me on Twitter at not Scott Hansen, and yeah, Letterbox too. I oh, I I you can recently put up your third review. I I I have five reviews. Oh, five. <clears throat> five reviews and a list. new for this. Uh, yeah, for a movie for this year, a new list. Uh, my first list on Letterboxd I felt very special I uh, if you'd like to check it out you can uh, it's it's got some good recommendations in it, it the title of the list is uh, movies in which Jeff Bridges goes bowling and Sam right. Elliott is also there <laughs> right consisting of The Big Lebowski and 2000's The, the, the contender. contender which couldn't have been a coincidence <laughs> you have six reviews do I? Far from Heaven, The Pianist, Oh, maybe. The oh, Father, oh, okay. Far from Heaven was six. Leave No Trace, and Youth. All pretty good. Like, I'm I'm selective with my reviews because I want everyone to be a banger. Good, good. I may eventually because people want to see my actual ratings for shit. I guess I'll just rate some stuff and not review it unless I think of something hilarious. I guess you can do that, right? You don't have to write it. You, like, you pretty much do write a review for everything, which I respect. I was trying to for a while, yeah. but then at, there's just times where I feel like I don't have anything to say, so I'm just like, meh, rating. Just write, I'm gay. I, I, I've i said some things. <laughs> I've said some things before, but um... Yeah. I don't... I, I, I think what it was, too, was it was a way for me to remember remember uh, something from like a non like a movie I'm probably not going to watch again but then somebody says hey have you seen blank and then I go yeah and then I look it up and just see what my notes are and go fuck yeah I've oh, seen I Pitch Perfect 3 terrible the what? I said fuck yeah I've seen Pitch Perfect 3 I haven't seen any of them <laughs> damn have you? no why not? Girls. You don't want to play the cups game or whatever the fuck it is? It's full of bitches. Uh, yeah, there's some ugly ones is too. Wall to wall, is Rebel Wilson in this? Rebel those? Wilson is in fact in it. Now, question before uh, I look it up. Before uh -oh. I look it up. Uh oh. Are any of them attractive? Um, Is there an attractive woman kind of, in this movie? They, they're, 
by the law of averages, like it's a Hollywood movie. You think there'd be an attractive woman? Uh, do you find in a- it. Anna Kendrick attractive? No. Do you find she, Brit- and she's the only other person I could think of? But I'm like, do you find be someone? Do you find Britney Snow attractive? The name rings a bell. Do I can't you, picture. Do her. you, uh, Britney Snow, like from I don't know CW shows or something? Yeah, actually, yeah. Okay. Do you find Anna Camp attractive? I have no idea who that is. Uh, you do. Is she in, and a, in a movie we like? She's in a television show episode we like. What's the name of the fucking show? I think you should leave. <laughs> no, well, she's, she's the church bitch on True Blood, but that's not... Uh, her most famous role, mm. uh, the uh, horror crypt, cryptozoology <laughs> tales, tales from the crypt, tales from the crypt, horror show. Oh, the, the uh, uh, horrors, uh, uh, hell give, give fest, creep show, creep show. Oh, she's in the shapeshifters. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Where she is a, yeah. I don't know. One billion times better Cheetah Woman than, than woman. fucking Kristen Wiig in yeah. Wonder Woman 1984 for, I don't know, I'm going to say one one millionth the budget, <laughs> would you say, roughly? Yeah, I would agree with that. God damn you, DC. <laughs> yeah. You're so bad. I don't know. Like, Look, no- Marvel is bad. I don't think it's DC's but DC. Problem. It's not DC's fault. It's it's not involving it, furries. It's executives. It's yeah. It's it's, it's not ex- like it's executives. What's going to look the best? It's like just make this so that we make money in the theater. Yeah. It's executives not being furries is the problem. Yeah. We need to infiltrate More. the highest levels <laughs> of Hollywood. We need to storm the capital of Hollywood. Yes. Yeah. Guys, in Jan- fursuits. January 6, 2022. Fursuit what what's the uh what is the U.S. capital version of Hollywood? The, the bank? <laughs> the, the bank? <laughs> uh, the, the, the... Paramount Studios? Paramount, sure. Uh, Paramount Plus No, it's offices. probably... It's Disney. Disney, Disney I guess owns it's Disney. everything. I mean, not DC, but... I guess, we, I guess now that I'm saying it out loud... Storm we, Walt Disney We script. shouldn't give specific... Dates, times, <laughs> and places to storm. Right. So that's satire. But also... <laughs> <laughs> but no, let, we need high-level high furries. High-level. Yeah, we need them making executive decisions like the Australian Olympic Committee. Oh, no, the Australian... Uh, whatever the fuck they were. Yeah, whatever was in charge of that. Because they they get they get the next Olympics for twenty thirty two. Yeah, so for Summer Olympics in twenty thirty two. Brisbane, Br- Brisbane, Brisbane. The I, I, I believe I have family in Brisbane. Oh really? I have a lot of family in Australia. That checks out. It you checks s- out. You seem like bogan trash. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. not hate speech. Thank you. My feelings are hurt. You can be racist to Australians. No, you can't. Unless, unless you are an Australian, you cannot say that. That's their word. <laughs> I just want to know, like, who's hosting? Hosting. Is that what you call it? I think hosting is a gay thing, too. Yeah, I think so. But hosting is also a Chris, I don't know Chris Hansen to catch a predator thing, too. Well, certainly. So. I yeah I don't know if in gay talk it's just like we're fucking at my house or if there's something more mm. specific to it. We'll have to delve deep into gay hosting. Imagine we almost got through a podcast without talking about gay sex. No, we already talked about blacks not bottoming. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, what do we mind. got? We got so Tokyo, then Beijing, then pa- I, then Paris. Beijing just had it. Uh, Beijing had it in two thousand eight. Yeah, that's not very long. I mean, there's a like so that's uh, three cities between Beijing's for Summer Olympics. For summer, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, I feel yeah, like there's uh, more L- London, than, Rio, and Tokyo. I feel like there's more than three Olympic cities in the world before you go but back to Beijing. Be- Beijing is uh, winter this time. Oh, yeah. Well, I take everything there you back. Go. 
So Beijing, Paris, Milan, Los Angeles is 2028. Right. And Brisbane is 2032. Yeah. And I'm noticing a pattern the... of staying away from a certain area of the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they're not doing 2036 in La- in Lagos, Nigeria? <laughs> uh, that's not what I meant. I meant more of like uh, a, a darker region of Europe and Eurasia. Yeah. I uh, can't imagine that they're going to go anywhere outside of like the main five places. Yeah. So like Italy's hosting it twice. China's hosting it twice. East Asia. Um, America. Yeah. And the good Europe. parts of Europe, good um, Europe unless you buy it like Russia yes but it's also the same thing as uh, World Cups I love that Cutter got the World Cup yeah because they have more money than they will ever be able to spend yeah and it's a corrupt system they also and, had... and they think it's funny to watch people uh, play soccer in 140 degree temperature uh, no they actually moved it to I know. winter yeah, and yeah. so it's only a hundred degree weather. That's better. That's it, soccer weather. It's hotter in the, like the the World Cup final will be uh, December twenty fourth. Okay, and it'll be hotter than, than hell. <laughs> isn't that SummerSlam? Probably. <laughs> uh, no, that's the highway to hell. Highway. Yeah. Uh, it'll be hotter than in Qatar. Cater. Cutter? Cutter. Cutter. It'll be hotter in Cutter on the 24th of December than it was in, like, uh, in Rio. In the summer. In the summer. Yeah. Good stuff. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. That'll be, that's fun soccer weather. Yeah, that's good uh, how many people are dying this year. Yeah, that's yeah. good uh, play a sport where you have to keep running back and forth. <laughs> At least they have hydration breaks now. They have hydration breaks mm-hmm. and good news for the goalies. Yes. Goalies can chill out. You just get to stand there. Yeah. Hopefully you get the shady side of the stadium. Yeah, that's a difference maker. Um, we, we also didn't even finish what we were doing. Uh, what were we doing? <laughs> we, we announced... Hi, hey, so if you... Are if we you, on high-level furry? If you like what we're doing, and by we, oh, I yeah. mean anyone involved in this podcast, me, Scott, sometimes Kelly, okay. sometimes uh, special guests... Uh, you know, you, you feel free to to send uh, send us some some Skrilla. Send us some Skrilla at paypal.me slash not Scott Henson. Uh, YouTube monetization is not completely paying the bills yet, having made three dollars in two weeks. <laughs> it's uh it's a slow burn. It's a living. It's a living. Um so if you like it, subscribe, notifications Share with your friends. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's get, you know what? Kiss your mom. Kiss your mom. For kiss me. your dad. Have your dad kiss your mom. Let us know what it makes you feel mm-hmm. when you watch that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. If you've ever seen your parents kiss? If I've seen my parents kiss. Well, I've seen my parents kiss a million times. Yeah. I think that my parents are in it for the you taxes you've kissed but. me more times in your lifetime than you've seen your parents kiss ever yes like not christmas not birthdays i think not i think New my Year's. sister made them kiss on their anniversary once <laughs> <laughs> like forcing your parents to do stuff. she like grabbed both of their heads and mashed them together I remember we went... I think one. I think I've seen one and it was forced. And we've kissed 300 times? Easily. So we're more of a couple than your parents. Than my parents. <laughs> I remember we went and got family portraits done like 10 years ago or maybe a little bit more than 10 years ago. I am so and pleased to have never been involved in a family, in a family portrait. portrait? Yeah. I mean, it's boring. Yeah. Um, but I remember having to, like, my sister and I force... Did your parents My make parents you and to your... do a picture together. Just oh, I thought your parents made you and your sister kiss. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Uh, my sister and I did like brother and sister pictures. We did a family picture. And you kissed. And then my parents were like, okay, we're like, we're already here. We're here. You're dressed up. You have up. to do Just it. Just take the fucking picture. Dad, you're in your nicest cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was wearing his white knights hat. <laughs> his white knights baseball hat. <laughs> okay, real brief funny story. Uh, we built a back. Backyard wrestling ring at my house uh, in 2007? 2006? 
that late in the game? I guess. Yeah, because it was after I met you guys, but it was it was whenever Dan and Al were doing the Ivy League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. 06, I think. Okay, so 06, we built a backyard ring with like mattresses and posts and stuff. And the idea was that whenever you refereed the match, uh, you had to wear like my hockey referee uniform from when I because I worked as a referee. Of course. And we also just kind of were like. Yeah, but, like, how is everyone going to know you're the referee if you're only wearing the referee shirt? And so my, oh, my father... <laughs> it sounds confusing. My father had a hat <laughs> that my grandfather owned that was, like, you know, the the trucker, like, mesh on the back, snap back, with the... I don't know if people are familiar with the types of hats, but some of the hats at the front have a little bit of, like, a padding cushion in them um, that just had... In a triangular pattern, three iron crosses inside red circles that just said white knights above it. And I I never asked my dad why my grandfather had it or if it was for, like, I've... some club he was in. Yeah, or... it was. <laughs> <laughs> but so we, if you refereed a match, you had to wear the jersey and you had to wear the white knights hat. But then at some point a few years later... My dad cleaned up the basement, and it disappeared. So I don't know if he hmm. got rid of it, or he hid it, or he secretly wears it to his meetings, but <laughs> I don't think my dad's that racist, but I think my grandfather was that racist. I don't know if I, my dad is in the KKK, but my grandfather was definitely in I, the KKK. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think he was is was in the clan, but I definitely... I mean, the White Knights are literally a branch of the KKK. Yeah, yeah I think my grandfather <laughs> was very much... I like he was in the the navy. In the navy. In the navy, he joined the navy at sixteen. He and, and lied about his age. He yeah. so growing up my I entire think my grandpa might have done that too, but yeah. also wasn't. But racist. your grandfather would have been way older than my grandfather because your parents are way older than my parents. Yes, but my mom's parents had her very young. young. Okay, so it evens out. I think. They, my mom's parents were 12 and 9. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, 22 and 20. Okay. So about the age my parents had me. Yeah. Um, I guess my parents were 22 and 23 when they got pregnant with me. So Anyways, nice. my, yeah, because I guess my grandpa would have been 16 in 19... 40, like right at the end of World War One, so like 46, 47. Yep. And so, so my, after the war was over. So yeah, to, like to, at the end of the war. Um, and oh, did he sign up post-war? What a fucking pussy! Well, he would have been thirteen. And yeah, well, younger then if the war's war. over, just don't fucking sign up. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, stolen valor. Um. You know what? I like so that. my entire life with my sister and I, it was handshakes only, like firm, hard handshakes with children. Nice. Like it wasn't even like a nice, delicate, like you're a kid. I like it was like, I like shaking your granddaughter's hand <laughs> hard. Never marry a color <laughs> is pretty much what he told both of us. A uh, very cold man. So I don't know that he was a full on rapist, but he a uh, philanthropist. Uh, <laughs> Um, I don't know if he was a full-on racist, but he... I feel like gr if he had lived a lot longer, uh, he, he would have been the kind of guy to say a bunch of really awful stuff out loud. Until his, Un uh, his untimely end during a cross burning. <laughs> Luckily for all of us, he uh, had a massive heart explosion heart attack at the age of like 63... All right. um, which uh, my dad's only a few years away from, and he also thinks he's going to die of a heart attack. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway. Because rules are rules. Enough enough about the White Knights and my grandfather, who was a racist. <laughs> um, so, so, this is the final episode of individual years for the Oscars. This is Scott's done watching movies forever. What if there's things in the, nine, in the 90s I will that you... not watch them. So you're just going to do your 90s ones I've off of the things you've seen? I've seen what I need to see. Okay. Billy Madison wins every Oscar for the whole <laughs> decade. I'm set. 
Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm not watching Braveheart. That's a bold statement. I'm not watching... I don't know. Schindler's Dances List. With, Dances with Wolves? I do have... Uh, also Dances with Wolves, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. I uh, I got no time... Last of the Mohicans? That's a that's Daniel Day doing Indian Face, so yeah. I might watch that yeah. for fun. Is that even 90s? I thought it was 89. Nah, it's probably 90s. Maybe it's 2007. Did he do a dual role of Daniel Plainview and The Last of the Mohicans? <laughs> he did. The, he did a Lincoln and uh, and Yellow Face, <laughs> Red Face, Red Face, Red yeah, Face. Sorry, Come my on. bad. Let's be accurate. Uh, Nineteen ninety-two. That sounds right. But was it nominated for any Oscars? Yeah, it must have been. Yeah, it was something. Uh, it was probably nom- Best Picture. It was nominated for one. Daniel Day. Best Sound. That's it. That's it. Well, I was just who. Directed Christopher your, Columbus, your mom, Michael Mann. Oh, it's on Michael Mann. It's a Michael Mann. Michael Mann, like low key, r- like really yeah, good director. Really, really good, good stuff. director. I like his stuff. He but he doesn't do a that's lot. That's a good one. Well, he, this year he did the Contender. Yes, he did. Uh, but he also did Manhunter. Manhunter, which is, a, which is awesome. The uh, the he, best uh, Thomas Harris adaptation that. Isn't Silence of the Lambs? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty hot take, I know, guys. Yeah. But uh, uh, but actually, I, uh, but the fucking Hannibal TV series, yeah, is so good. It's so good. I love it so much. Yeah, he did Heat. Like I just collateral. rewatched it. I want to rewatch it again. Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't done anything since 2015, and before that, he hasn't done anything I, since 2009. I was gonna say, like, I feel like I haven't I think heard he's much just a, from Michael Mann this yeah, decade. I think he's just a producer. Yeah, he's got tons. He produced of, a lot, right? Tons of producing credits. Was he, his 2015 Ford, anything Ford, of no? Ford v Ferrari? He produced yeah. that, and uh, he's no. It was this movie called Black Hat. Oh yeah, no, I know. That it. Apparently, yeah. everybody thinks hacking. Is, it was a Hem, Hemsworth yeah. hacking, and everybody thinks is fucking terrible. I who said? Oh, I th- might have been on Cumptown. I think Adam on Cumptown saw it, and he's like, everyone says. It sucks, but it's Michael Mann and it's pretty sick. Oh, and it's—I mean—it's got Chris Hemsworth. So yeah. how bad can it be? And Viola Davis. Yeah, like worst case, you can jerk off. And a parent to Viola Davis. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I'm sure it's whatever. It just—I've—I've I've seen that it's gotten lots of bad reviews and has bad ratings on things. Hacking, hacking. <laughs> I love it when you call me Big Hacker. <laughs> I was doing Chief Wiggum jamming. Oh. <laughs> not, well, well not, I was doing Robert, not, not, Robert Goulet. Not Goulet Big can we, Papa. please, again, really, really quickly, can we talk about the fact that Will Ferrell got to say the N-word Hard on R SNL? On it, SNL. Live. Ooh, that dress <laughs> so scandalous. <laughs> And you and know, another, another straight up hard R. <laughs> hard R. Couldn't handle it. Goulet. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> I love it when you call me big. Papa. Papa. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he got away Insane. with it. Insane. What, like 1998? Yeah, 98. Yeah. That's a really fun skit. <laughs> it's great. It's really good. And like, I only knew Robert Goulet as uh, in from Beetlejuice, and that was it. Yeah, he's just like an old Vegas guy. Yeah, but like, yeah. He, he wasn't like an actor. No. Yeah. No, he's a singer. Yeah. yeah. It's a re- he's a real wing. And also, I would even question the singing part. He, <laughs> he has a style. <laughs> um. So, yeah, so this is the last year of just individual years. As we've said before, we will be going through doing two episodes of the latter half of the 90s and then the first half of the 90s where we will just be doing winners for every category. No no nominations. And just like just winners. And like, I I don't even know if we, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I, I think we can. I think we can blow through just, just doing winners. a winner for every category yeah, we, pretty easily. We can do winners, and then once we get to the pre nineties, it'll. Are just we doing be... supporting? Are we doing supporting actors? What for that one? For the nineties. Um, I think we can mention it if there's like an egregious error on sure. our in our opinion. Yeah. But like, if it's if it's just like yeah, that was fine. That's whatever. fine. Move on. Yeah. You know, I like no screenplay. I don't think. 
Okay. And I think we just do like the main four, and then if there's uh, something yeah. that we're like, how did this person not win best actor over yeah. or best supporting actor over blah? Like, yeah, yeah. I, I like that. But I think yeah. we can blow through that pretty easily, and then once we get past that into the eighties and before, and eighties, it'll we'll just, just do every, just like any year that we think yeah, there's look, something. Look through as honestly as far back as you like, yeah. eighty nine to. 29 yeah and just to see like is there anything that you either strongly agree with or strongly disagree with yeah. and just and go necessarily that way. disagreeing to you doesn't mean that we have to have a like definitive opinion like if if the best picture thing is like four really good options and the winner was something we disagree with yeah it doesn't necessarily be like well i think this one wins it's just this shouldn't have won and yeah. any of the other four should have won like yeah, so I, I think those ones can, we can get through, like, relatively quick. Uh, so we won't be doing just, like, nominations for everything, because that'll take way too long. Yeah. So, this so, yeah, so this is the last year of, yeah, like... Yeah, so that's, that's the next three after this. Late 90s, early 90s, 80s before. and earlier. Um, yeah, then what... Uh, what did I sort of have? Oh, yeah, then the one after that, that's Drew's time to shine. That's the autism episode. Yeah, because I'm the only one here with autism. Yeah, Drew had, Drew's neuroatypical, and I'm super chill. <laughs> and I'm super gay. <laughs> uh, that's the... Uh, I, I wrote uh, stats, fun facts, and emergency apologies, should anything come up. That is correct. Oh, I thought you were, I thought you were just leaving. I'm leaving. I'm out. See ya. All right. Oh, Drew had, <laughs> Drew had to get his medicine, <laughs> quote unquote. It's 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 HRT. Everyone everyone knows. <laughs> yeah. I'm take I'm taking uh, feline HRT. I like that. Yeah, that's the move. It's uh it's it's real. It's doing Why don't real, we have that already? It's doing a real number on barbing up my wiener. We can- I mean, we got we got flying cars. We we faked putting a man on the moon. We can't get a little feline HRT over here. Apparently not. What do I got to do? Who's do you know? <laughs> whose barbed dick do I got to? Whose suck? barbed dick do I got to? Say? You, uh, you know what? I'll tell you why we don't. Because we need more high level furries. That's true. Let's infiltrate. If Doctor Anthony Fauci <laughs> <laughs> came out as trans was, species, was, was a dog, <laughs> we'd be on to something. No, I don't want dog. Well, no, I don't want a dog either. But I was just like, going, a, like a bald I was going eagle. in general. If oh, fine, he came a out as a bald eagle, eagle. I mean, he'd be a patriot. <laughs> he'd be a patriot, but he'd also be able to get us what we need. Yeah, I agree. Um, Doctor oh. Jill Biden. Doctor, didn't they tell her to stop calling herself that? <laughs> they did, even though she has a doctor, yeah, which but, is pretty funny. But I, <laughs> I mean, yeah, she's not a medical doctor, but like she literally is a PhD. She has a PhD. She's a different kind of doctor. Yeah, like if, if she was, <laughs> if she was calling herself dentist Jill Biden, <laughs> then I could see cause for concern. You should, hey, stop calling yourself that. You you have a doctorate in uh, religious studies. Yeah, I don't think that's what she has. Uh, I don't. I don't remember what she has, but they were definitely like, "You're not a doctor, stop calling so that." And they're like, "Uh huh." <laughs> All right, I'll stop doing it. Yeah, she apologized. So yeah, so this is the year two thousand. Oh, and, and uh, oh, so, sorry. Yeah, you were saying the. Uh, so yeah, so yeah. that's our our next four: the nineties, nineties, earlier, and then stats and fun facts. Then after that, we have like an opening for one episode. So. And a few weeks ago, we asked for ideas, and uh, shout out to uh, Sean Bean's mom <laughs> oh. on uh, YouTube, who gave some ideas. Um, so we got uh, guilty pleasures slash trashy favorites, top, top ten best, top ten best you've never heard of, which uh, seems like an oxymoron of a, <laughs> of a topic. Uh, top ten westerns, notable movies that made you cry, notable, oh. notable movies that gave you a boner, notable <laughs> movies that gave you a boner and made you cry. <laughs> uh, I think we should do westerns because of how much Scott doesn't like westerns. It's not that I, I mean, it's not my favorite genre, and also I just haven't seen a lot of them. So that's a homework episode. I could, I could give you like top fifteen John Wayne movies. 
What are, sure. you, are you a The Searchers guy? I or am a you... The Searchers guy. Th- that would have been my number one. I thought you might That would have be. been my number one. The Searchers is See, really good. I know Westerns. A, because it's a much darker role for John Wayne. Like, he's not the upbeat, happy... No, he's a sad goof. gay man. He's a sad gay man. Yeah. Who's only, who is a, a gun advocate and a Republican who only married Latinas. I like that. Because I, they were his maids and then he married them. Yeah, Schwar- Schwar- Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger style. Yeah. The I, I I like the crying one. The crying one. Crying good. one's good. Uh, I also like the boners one because it's just going to be E two Mama Tambien. <laughs> That's my number <laughs> one through ten. Yeah, uh, we could bring Kelly on for that, and it's exclusively werewolf movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, childhood Cabin in the woods. Cabin in the woods, obviously. <laughs> uh, childhood favorites. Uh, movies which had uh, the most delicious looking food. Uh, movie right. movies you wished never ended. Uh, so stuff like that, and th- then there's also the option for just "oops, I'll preamble." That's always on. The that table is also too. on the table, which is what everybody's here for, anyways. Yeah. Um, so we got options. So we got f- four, five weeks to figure that out. Yeah, that, I mean, that, I, I I had some ideas too that I'm, we can, I like ideas. We can discuss off air, I guess, and figure yeah. out. Uh, I'm not. I'm or I, I could just say a couple of them, and then if people like them, we can do that one. Sure. My my thought was just um, sort of. Swordfish, at, 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 a deep dive into the movie Swordfish. A deep dish. Uh, the, a deep dish? The, the, Are you? Uh, there, there's, uh, we're we're going to need to get lunch pretty quick. After there's this. some good tatas in Swordfish. Halle yes, Bear, Halle Berries. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, the one one of the ones I thought were sort of like um, the the best movie of a, of specific countries. Like, okay. You know, you pick a like of, of a Europe, and then you do just what the best what you think is the best movie or your favorite movie from that country. Yeah. Or we do like. Some something along the lines of um, the bet, like rank, like just doing like a quick top, like top ten of earlier movies from a now established big name director. Yep. So you could take like if you do Denis Villeneuve, and then it's like you know your, your polytechnic. polytechnic, or you do your uh, like. What probably comes up today, Morris Peros or <laughs> or Ari Aster, the strange thing about the Johnsons, strange things about the Johnsons, <laughs> like something like that. Like like uh, that's a lot more of like a film nerdy, like uh, deep dive into some things that maybe nobody else has seen or heard of. But the thing is, to me in my head, I'm like, oh, people listen to this podcast and then watch the movies we talk about. Yeah, like I don't know how much of the percentage of people that is. Um, I know I, there's I, a few. I think. Um... Some with this one, lots of people with the the top tens. Okay, yeah, ended yeah. Up watching I, some. I knew about the top tens lots. one for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so I mean, we, I'm sure we'll figure it out off air. We got time to figure it out. We still got th- three, four more episodes till we actually yeah. have to make a decision on that. So yeah. So then we got yeah. So we got that. Then we just got the last four wrestling ones after that, yeah. and that rounds out the season. And then we'll. Never deal with podcast event. again. Murder Suey. Murder Suey. Du- murder, double murder, double Suey. Season three, Murder Suey. And which is just a, a great spit in everyone's face once you get the secret message. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good For reveal. us to murder Suey right after you get the message. After you figured out what our plan was. Tragedy. Tragedy. Yeah. It's a real Romeo and Juliet, except for we're both Romeo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we're and we're non-penetrative bottoms. Correct. Uh, okay. I think j- just thinking out loud, doing doing planning, we not necessarily should have already done, but planning that doesn't need to be on air. But here we are. <laughs> I think they um, like to know our process. <laughs> yeah. I think after that, we'll because uh, because we want to like we don't just want to stop because we you lose people when you stop. Uh, I think and we also th- want you to give us money. And we want you to give us money. So I think after that, we'll just do some oops all preambles. Yeah, for, there'll be some just fucking around fun ones. For, for a while. Bit. And then uh, get into season four eventually. Yeah. Which has homework again. I hate homework. Yeah, but there'll be a gap. Because um, from now... Th- from a th- now, A thigh gap? Yeah, a big old... A thigh gap for your double thick hawk. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Because between now There'll and the time. start of season four, there's going to be a long period of no homework. Three years. <laughs> We're going back to the the nitro. Look, we, we've est- as, like we've established rules. that all the cool shit happens in 2024. Day the clown cried. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Public public, public domain, domain Mickey. And season, and season four, four of the, the worst, worst year of our lives. lives. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah. 
Um, okay. And the Beijing Olympics. And the Beijing Olympics. Yeah. Winter Olympics. Uh, which actually, which, which wouldn't be 2024. So is Beijing 2022? 2022. Yeah, huh. sorry. It's 2022. What, so what's the next summer? Uh, Paris. LA? Paris. Paris. Yeah. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so uh, um, 2000 uh, Oscars held in the year 2001. No, only good things happened in 2001. Uh, I mean, 2000 was a pretty good year. Yeah. 2001, I remember, even better. I remember enjoying 2000, so that would have been grades. You don't even know what you're talking about. 11 and 12. Yeah. For me. Those uh, were those are fun years, especially actually, nine and ten for me. Nine and ten for you. Uh, we elected the best president. Or eight and nine. Eight and nine. I'm three years older than you. Yeah, I guess I am. Yeah. Which is crazy, because you're a baby. Because I'm baby. Oh, God, I hate you so much. <laughs> Fucking kill yourself. Uh. Oops, I hit a thing. Yeah, if, if I'm. Yeah. What kind of crazy baby are you? <laughs> if I am a baby and I'm three years older than you, <laughs> I'm a I'm a you're, sperm. You're just cum. I'm just cum. I'm made of cum. That's why I stink so bad. Uh, I think with the right seasoning. <laughs> no, oh god! <laughs> Couldn't finish it. All right. Anyways, okay. So I didn't I didn't find this year as that hard. That was all right. I really didn't. I like there wasn't a lot of like uh, tough decisions. It was like yeah, yeah, yeah. These are these are the picks. I yeah. I hope I I found the same, but I will be amused if we both found that about entirely different, different movies. movies. You're like, oh, it's obviously this. I'm like, oh, oh no, that's a bad movie. It's obviously this. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, best did re- you best screenplay give all the Oscars to Wonder Boys? Because yeah. you love. Gay actor Michael Gay Douglas. Actor. Uh, I did not. Okay. Um, so best screenplay, uh, or best original screenplay was Almost Famous, and best adapted screenplay, although this one, I forgot that it used to be called Material Previously Produced or Published Slash Adapted Screenplay. They stopped calling it that after a while, and maybe like 2004. Because it's gay? <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. Um, was Traffic... That's so... It's literally just a longer way to say adapted screenplay. Yeah. And they also say... They still say adapted, adapted screenplay. screenplay. That's why they cut it down to regular. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I had said to you off camera that I wasn't super happy with what I had written down for screenplay. Yeah. Um, I didn't keep either. But now I'm regretting not keeping Almost Famous. I... Didn't keep Almost Famous... One, two, three, four. The traffic is fighting for the last spot. Gotcha. Um, also uh, with gay actor Michael Douglas. I kept Aaron Brockovich. I did not. I kept Gladiator. I did not. Oh, it, it is going to be one of those years. Uh, I'm excited. I kept Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? I did keep and that. And I added two. I... Which I think one of them is the same. I kept Oh Brother, Mm -hmm. and that is fucking it, and we'll see what happens to Traffic. And I added three for sure, and maybe a fourth, depending on what what happens to Traffic. I assume we both added Requiem for a Dream. Yes. That's correct. The other one I added was Space Cowboys. (laughs) I know you like your Space Cowboys. It it was was good. It's really fun. It's good. It's It's really fun. Yeah, it's just a, uh, just a couple of old dogs learning new tricks. It's a way better Armageddon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's not just explosions and also uh, really stupid, lame gay music. Uh, <laughs> you leave now. Goo Goo Dolls. The Goo Goo Dolls song is good. Okay. Yeah, Goo Goo Dolls song is good. But the Aerosmith song, Aerosmith song can sucks. suck a fat dick. But I respect it, it can suck the a double the, thick, a hog. double thick. Yeah, Iris by Goo Goo Dolls is a good song. Yeah. Uh, anyways, okay, so those are uh, Requiem for a Dream, Aaron Brockovich, Oh Brother Where Art Thou, Gladiator, Space Cowboys. I also added Amoris Peros. Okay, that was on my radar. I also added Shadow of the Vampire. Ooh. Oh, did I just 
Did I just bust your bracket? Yeah, that was a that was a real Creighton Blue Jays for me. <laughs> Mascot's so good, team's so bad. Uh, <sighs> I, don't know what I, don't wanna, I don't know what I want to cut, though. And then I've got Traffic and the Contender fighting for okay. the last one. Nah, I think I'm going to stick stick to my guns of uh, of no no steals. But you love steals. Oh, nope. wait, I, I love you steals. You love steals because you're the right color. But I'm, I'm trying to teach you to also love steals. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to uh, to train me. I'm a real... Uh, I'm a groomer? real. Uh, you, you could call it that. You call I'm, me I'm, a groomer. I'm a real Fagin, and you're my uh, Oliver Twist. <laughs> oh, gross. Does he, does he fuck him? I've never actually read Oliver Twist. Or seen <laughs> I, the play. I've never he seen must it. fuck him in the play, at least. Or in the original screen plays, or like the original uh, writing. First draft. First draft. First draft Oliver Twist. All, that kid gets fucked. All molesting. <laughs> um, okay, so the, so it's for sure for you. For sure, Shadow of the Vampire, o Requiem for a Dream, Amoris Peros, O Brother, Where Are So then it's between Traffic yeah. and... The contender. And the contender. I guess I'll go traffic. Okay. Yeah. Do you, do you have a winner? Not particularly. I'm actually kind of leaning towards one, but I'll I'll hear you out. Well, my because I like stealing. My winner isn't on your list. So oh, is it Space Cowboys? It's Space Cowboys. Wow. No, it's not Space Cowboys. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Uh, I think Gladiator. I think is. What I choose. Gladiator Pussy. Gladiator Pussy. There's uh, tigers in that movie. Real tigers in that movie. Are they real? Yeah. I guess they're real. They're real. Yeah. Not even CG. Real. They all almost kill a man by accident during the filming. So That's pretty sick. Gotta go with Gladiator. So that, 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 that that's worth an Oscar. Of course. Um, yeah, I'm sort of uh, fencing it between... Uh, between Requiem for a Dream and maybe Shadow of the Vampire. It's it's such yeah, a cool... It really is. ...story. Fuck. Now I want to steal it, but I don't want to cut I'm, you anything know what? I I'm, have. I'm giving the win to Shadow of the Vampire. Damn it. <laughs> oh, well. Whatever. Steal it. Steal it, pussy. No, it's too late. Too it's late. Not, it's never too nah! late. I did something from like eight years back a few weeks ago. <laughs> That's true. Oh, yeah. No, I... I <laughs> yeah, I did an emergency uh, nominate link later for uh, screenplay... For 2013, yep. for Before Midnight. And we did that in, like, 2005. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, and I, I have a, an emergency correction to be dealt with later. Okay. When we get to directors. Oh, okay. Um, uh, Not an apology. Not a change. Just a correction. Gotcha. Let's go... That applies to both of us. Supporting actor. Okay. So the uh, original winner was Benicio Del Toro for Traffic. Yes. As of right now, I have two, four, six, eight, nine people. <laughs> I, I think I know I can cut three for sure. <laughs> I think I'm keeping... I think I have three... For sure. ...set. Okay. I, ben, ben, Benicio's in contention for me. Benicio's one of my set ones. Yeah. Um, and then, besides those three, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Between behind, so you have eleven. I have eleven. I have three for reasonable. sure. Very reasonable. <laughs> Very reasonable. Very reasonable. Uh, I have eight fighting for the last two spots. Yeah, I I don't I don't really have any set set. Um, I so okay so I kept uh, in in contention. Yep. I have Jeff Bridges for the contender. Yep. Me I too. Have, I have Willem Dafoe for Shadow of the Vampire. Me too. I have Albert Finney for Aaron Brockovich. I don't. And I have Joaquin Phoenix for Gladiator. Me too. And then, Hashtag me too. so I have all five of the ones originally nominated yes. in contention. I have all but Albert Finney. And then I added two from Oh Brother Where Art Thou and two from Space Cowboys. Uh, now is one of yours for Oh Brother John Turturro? Yeah. Are you considering Clooney the lead and yeah. everyone else supporting? Yeah. And also because I feel like the main story revolves around Clooney. That's true. I tried to sneak Totoro into lead because, like, Clooney, Totoro, and Nelson are all kind of lead, but I guess it is Clooney. Yeah, I think, I think it's Clooney. So, so I, have I have to Totoro and, I, and Blake Nelson both in supporting. I have John Goodman. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
And if Chatura's supporting, I'm going to have to have him, too. Because who doesn't like a one-eyed racist? Big Dan T. Big Dan T. Yeah. Uh, you know, okay, so here's here's what's happening. Totoro is my for sure fourth. Okay. So now I have... Oh, now I have still those eight fighting for the last one spot now. <laughs> Good. Uh, that helps. Okay. And then the other two I added were uh, both James Garner and Donald Sutherland for Space Cowboys. Okay. So, what I've got is... Okay, here, here's my four... <laughs> for sure. For for sure. Benicio del Toro. Yeah. Uh, John Turturro. Okay. As he has been revealed to me as a supporting actor. Um, Alfred Molina for Chocolat. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, like good Alfred Molina. Willem Dafoe for Shadow of the Vampire. Yeah. Which leaves... Fighting for the last spot. <laughs> Joaquin Phoenix for Gladiator. Yeah. John Goodman for Our Brother We're Out There. Yeah. Michael Douglas for Traffic. Yeah. Not for Wonder Boys, because he's the lead in that, <laughs> and he's gay. <laughs> and he's gay. <laughs> uh, Michael Caine for Quills. Jeff I, Br- I thought about Michael Caine for Quills as well, but I, like I, I just had too many written down. You don't get a lot of bad guy Michael Caines. It's fun. Not really. No, no but... Uh, Jeff Bridges for The Contender. Mm-hmm. Gary Oldman for The Contender. <laughs> yep. Gael Garcia Bernal for Amoris Peros. See, I have him in consideration as best actor. I mean, he's the lead in his part of the movie. Yeah. But his part is only like a the third. first third. Mm. Yeah. That's how I yeah, rigged that's, that. That, uh, that is a good call. Well, then I guess I have to remove him from there and finally Peter Stomari for Dancer in the Dark oh hmm interesting made you think about that one too I did but I think it's too late I'm not stealing from you come on no I don't like to steal it feels good when you steal from me Uh, I've been tricked with that too many times (laughs) um so who are you gravitating to I'm down to six Good for you. So I only have to cut one. I'm hanging tough at 12. <laughs> uh-huh. No, you have four for sure. Yeah, and then eight. And then eight. <laughs> so I'm going to go Benicio for sure. Okay. Willem Dafoe for sure. Okay. Walking Phoenix for sure. Okay. And then just the whole cast of Space Cowboys. <laughs> I got it down to James Garner. Okay. As much as I really like Donald Sutherland's like stoner hippie guy, yeah. I think James Garner's uh, like story arc in, this, in it is a lot more interesting. Like, his, okay. his character's story is a lot more interesting. Yeah. Uh, so it's between... So that's three. It's between Jeff Bridges and The Contender, John Turturro and O'Brother, and James Garner and Space Cowboys. Now, I know my bias towards Space Cowboys, and, like, the movie itself is probably not on par with the other movies in I this. really hope you give it Best Director and Best Picture. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I think as much as I want to keep him I don't know if he's better than Jeff Bridges or John Turturro yeah so I think I'm just gonna honorable mention to James Garner for Space Cowboys but uh, yeah I think he's cut okay so uh, Benicio Del Toro Jeff Bridges Willem Dafoe Walking Phoenix and John Turturro so you just got five are my five my fave five that leaves me with ten holding the bag so, I'll who's hold, in who's your out? bag? Well, I guess I won't do two from O Brother, and if I'm doing one, it's Totoro. Gotcha. Yeah, that, that makes sense. So, Goodman's out. Sorry, John. Joaquin's in contention. Okay. Gay actor Michael Douglas in contention. <laughs> Straight actor Michael Caine's in contention. You know what? Oh, I got. Pussy Hound Michael Caine. Pussy Hound Michael Caine. Are you kidding me? The amount of Vagine he got in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Absurd. Like Wilt Chamberlain levels. <laughs> he hugged and kissed over 10,000 women. <laughs> uh, I'm cutting both from the contender. Okay. No bridges, no old men. Okay, that's fair. Bernal. Is worth a mention. But. Stormari's worth a mention. Down to five. Phoenix, Douglas, Kane, Bernal, Stormari. Unless I ax Molina. And if I was to ax him, what would I ax him? Hey, Molina, what's your problem? <laughs> why Why don't... It's ask, not ax. What are you... What, what, <laughs> hey, black? hey, Molina, let me ask you this. Why do you love Lent so much? <laughs> Lint? 
Like L I N D T? No, it's well uh, appropriate to Shakala. He would be very against Lint. Yes. Because of Lent. Yeah. So. Oh God! Here we go, Scott. None of this matters. It's Drew. Do you have a winner? One. I have a winner. Okay, then just pick. No, no, <laughs> just pick no. someone. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, let's go crazy. You, ha- you're keeping Joaquin. I'm keeping Joaquin. Yeah. I'm gonna keep Joaquin. And cut Molina. Okay. And then keep Bernal. Okay. I had to do something. Okay. I did something. You got it. You did it. Also, none of them are my winner, so doesn't matter. As you said, who cares? Do we do we have the same winner? I hope so. I think we do. Mine's Willem Dafoe. Mine's Willem Dafoe. Nice. He's a fucking vampire. He's a fucking vampire. <laughs> like, a real He's vampire. He's a real-ass vampire. <laughs> real-ass vampire. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking cool. Yeah. Uh, okay, let so... Me, let me write down Turturro for that. Supporting actress. The winner was Marcia Gay Harden for Pollock, which I didn't watch. I did, oh. and I kept her. I didn't keep Dame Judi Dench. I did keep okay. Dame I Judy kept Dash. Kate Hudson. I kept Francis McDormand. Kate and Francis both fighting. And I kept Julie Walters for uh, Billy Elliot. I did not. So I got some different did ones. Did you see Billy Elliot? I think I Back in the did day. at the time. Oh. It's I like it a lot. Not uh, Yeah, it's because you're a gay boy. I am a gay boy. <laughs> Of course, the gayest boy. Billy Elliot, the story of Drew. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you love it. Not uh, surprised. So I only have four, and I okay. added, and I added one more person. So so I'm thinking this may be another uh, supporting versus lead conversation. Uh, do you have Jennifer Connelly for lead, I, or do you not have? Her? I I have her in lead. Okay, I have her in supporting. Should I move her to lead? Oh. Um, I kind of did the ooh, thing. It's real tough again because it's sort of like an ensemble. That's the thing. So I'm like, so, like, is anyone in a, in a lead? I mean, I also have Ellen Burstyn in lead. Like they do. Oh, I didn't notice she was in lead. Okay, so I can move. So I don't know which her. one she. Okay, you know what? If Burstyn's in lead, Connelly's so is Connolly. Connolly's in lead, yeah. Which drastically changes my best actresses. Yeah. Uh, but makes my best supporting a little easier. So if Connolly and Burston are gone, that leaves me... Well, one, I need a new winner. <laughs> <laughs> so that's something. And yeah, because Connolly's in it every bit as much as Burston. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How come we didn't? neither one of us did Marlon Wayans for supporting actor? I mean, it's the best thing he's done. Yeah. Well, a haunted house, but okay. Um, white checks. <laughs> white checks. Uh, little man. Fifty little shades man. of black. A haunted house too. <laughs> was there a haunted house too? Yeah, there was. You said it with confidence. Yeah. So. I've seen one. I haven't seen two. Okay, so now I only need to cut one, one for that. And actually, okay, I know who, who are you cutting. I'll put them in my list. I only have four. Well, let me let me tell you what's going on. Okay. So, I've got now that everyone from Requiem from a Dream has moved to lead. I've got Judy Dench, mm-hmm. Marsha Gay Harden, uh, Kate Winslet for Quills. Quills, Quills yeah. Uh, and then the ones I had fighting for last place, Fair but now place. most of whom get a nomination yeah. are McDormand. the two from Almost Famous, Kate Hudson, Kate Hudson and Frances McDormand. Uh, Catherine Deneuve from uh, Dancer in the Dark. Oh, yeah. And Holly Hunter for A Brother Where Art Thou. Oh, yeah. So. Uh, I'm going to have to steal someone. Now you're talking. Well, I, I originally put uh, Michelle Yeoh for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I have her lead. But, oh, and I was going to say, I don't know if that's as much acting as it is doing cool stunts. But it's very cool. But it's very cool stunts. <laughs> so, you know. Um, yeah, I have her lead. 
I'm I gonna... have her lead and she's... Oh, no. I was going to say I have her lead and she's staying lead because I could only find five. But now I have two more Ooh. from Rec Room for a Drink. What about Zhang, Zhang, Zhang Ziyi? Too, too, compli- too oh. silly a name. Too Chinese? Too Chinese. You're Chinese. You need I'm a... going to steal Holy Hunter for a brother. I enjoy a lady who doesn't put up with George Cooney's bullshit. <laughs> I agree. So, I've got... Three for sure. Four for the last two spots. Kate. You have Kate and Francis? I have Kate and Francis. So those could just be my two. Then I don't have Holly Hunter and I don't have Catherine Deneuve. Um, well, let's go Francis because Francis is always good. Because Francis is Francis and Kate Francis a, is Francis. a mess. I mean, I almost want to acknowledge Kate because it's like one of her first movies. It's by leaps and bounds her best movie everything after she, she everything she did after it was absolute dog shit. um the skeleton key pardon me lest we forget um, fool's gold <laughs> um a third movie a bunch of those movies where the poster is matthew mcconaughey leaning against her or she's like supporting him yeah. physically. no like, that's Failure to launch, how to lose a guy in 10 days. I guess how to lose a guy in 10 days, she's leaning against, they're leaning against each other. Yeah. The other one's Sarah Jessica Parker. Well, there's there's like a whole meme. There's yeah, like, yeah. A, like the series of movies where someone has to hold Matthew McConaughey up. I'm going to find you a, a good Kate Hudson movie and you're not going to be able to fight me. Okay. A- after 2000. Sure. I'm open to it, but I'm skeptical. Hey, you should be skeptical, because I don't think I can pull it. <laughs> oh, how about the uh, Sia movie that everybody hated? Oh, like, universally hated. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot, yeah, she's the... I think both she and the daughter were nominated and possibly won Razzies. Mm-hmm. Good yes. stuff. Yeah. Ah, got it. Deepwater Horizon. That's the one. Peter Berg, baby. Classic. Peter Berg. Peter Berg. Berg. I'm sorry, is she playing M- Mona Lisa and the Blood Moon? What the fuck what? is that? Oh, it's superheroes. Get get away from me. Get away from me. <laughs> so. Let's go. Dench. Gay Harden. <laughs> We're only life. saying it like that because it's, <laughs> it's close to home. <laughs> McDormand. Marsha Gay Harder. And then is it... Unless I just axe Marsha Gay. Then we can do... Use your words. Actually, yeah. Use your words. I am using my words. If I axe Marsha Gay, I can keep... I can keep Kate Hudson, Holly Hunter, and Catherine Deneuve. There you go. Were you that good as Pollock's wife? No. (laughs) (laughs) Goodbye. (laughs) I can. I always confuse Marsha Gay Harden with someone. Jeannie Triplehorn. I think they're the same person. I believe it's Jean Triplehorn. I think it's not actually. I think, I think it's, it's Jean, Jean Triplehorn. I think it's Jeannie. You're wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of I Dream of Jeannie Maybe Triplehorn. Maybe you're thinking of Jeannie Hackman. That's it. It was Jeannie Hackman. Jeannie Hackman. <laughs> uh, do you have a winner or no? Because you had so many. I had Jennifer him. Connelly. Yeah. That's what I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, so no. My winner you don't have. So I, I, I gave it to Julie Walters for Billy Julia, Elliot. Billy Elliot. Every day with Billy this. Elliot's Billy Elliot good. this. Billy Elliot that. Billy yeah, Elliot's very good. Very um, good. I was going to give it to Francis McDormand for Almost Famous, but I feel like the, the, the sort of crotchety mom character gets played a lot. Yeah. And when I think of Francis McDormand in Almost Famous, I always think of... Oh, who's the actress? God damn it. Um, uh, like, I always get it confused with uh, Lynn Shane as the mom um, in uh, Detroit Rock City. Right. Like, similar vibes. Also, bad news. I still have six. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Judy Dench, Kate Winslet, Francis McDormand, Kate Hudson, Holly Hunter, Catherine Deneuve. Someone's got to go. Oh. Guess what? It's Holly Hunter. Had to do something. Making snap decisions? Not happy with them. But here we are. Don't have a winner. Who should win? <laughs> um, 
National Lampoon's Homo Erectus should win. You need to get off of IMDb. <laughs> it's the guy, same guy that directed... Is, um, is Kate Hudson in it? No. It's the same Did guy that directed good Detroit Hudson Rock movie? City. Oh. Yeah, I told you. Deepwater Horizon. Okay, that was the one. Good. Um, Winslow was good. Judy Dench was good. Francis was good. Kate, is Kate Hudson never good. Dame... You're forgetting the dame. You put De that dame on her goddamn name. De Novo was good. You know what? You've convinced me with dame. <laughs> <laughs> Judy Dench. Chocolat. Done. Done. Um, Spoiler, she dies. <laughs> Spoiler, she dies. <laughs> All right, so best actress. The original winner was uh, Julia Roberts for Aaron Brockovich. I kept her. Nope. Uh, Fuck her. I kept Ellen Burstyn. Bad actress, big mouth. True. Uh, I kept Ellen Burstyn for Requiem for a Dream. I, I did now. <laughs> I also have too many for this category, so uh, the only other one for sure I'm keeping is Icelandic pop sensation Bjork I am for also, Dancer in the Dark. I am also keeping Bjork. And then then it gets a little tricky. Oh, I, I guess I'm for sure keeping Jennifer Conley for Requiem for a Dream. Yeah. So, so Roberts, Burstyn, Bjork, and Jennifer Conley. And then for me, it's between Michelle Yeoh for Grudge Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Juliette Binoche for Chocolat, and Joan Allen for The Contender. Yeah. So I I've... think I'm cutting Joan Allen for The Contender, and I th think I'm, that's all I'm going to do. Then I'm going to have six. Okay. So I'm currently sitting at, with our new additions, two, four, six, <laughs> seven. <laughs> So no, that's not new edition. That's uh, uh, color me bad. No, that's uh, uh, Bell Biv Devoe. No, what was the? Oh, God damn it! CNC Music Factory. Oh no, it's Depeche Mode. But I'm thinking of something else aside from that. Oh, uh, what was the name of that band that they then had that audition search for the new singer and they had in that excess in excess because he fucking auto erotic and himself. they had that one song with the new singer mm. that got that every shit like pub rock bandy group like plays and like drunk white chicks fucking love it yeah uh, i'm never gonna remember the name of the song uh no, I can't even. I can't pull it either. I can't pull. What we'll to, we'll to look for it uh, off air? I was pleased to pull in excess. I'm, yes. I'm gonna. Well, because the other one I thought you win. were gonna say was Queen, and I'd be like, no, it's not Adam fucking Lambert. <laughs> he good though. I guess. He's not really my jam, but you like him. Uh, so yeah, so I'm keeping my two Requiem girls. Keeping Bjork. Uh, full name, please. Bjork Stevenson. <laughs> <laughs> no, Icelandic pop sensation Bjork. Pardon me, Icelandic pop sensation Bjork. I believe her last name is, uh, like, Bjornason. Bjork Bjornason. Yeah, I don't, I can't remember her real name. You don't know. Or her full name. Uh, Gudmondestadr. You know, those weird Icelandic last names. That was a good one. So I got, yeah, so I got those three... And then I got Michelle Yao, Julia Pinoche, Joan Allen, and Laura Linney for You Can Count On Me. I always like Laura Linney. So, Joan Allen was good, Julia Pinoche. Maybe I can... Maybe I can boot Pinoche. Just because she, I don't know, because she's French. All right, I had, I had, a, I had a French woman... In the supporting actress, I don't want to make a habit of it. So let's... So that takes her down to six. So it's... So one of We're Michelle... We're still on this? Yeah, one of Michelle Yao, Joan Allen, and Laura Linney has to go. I, I cut Joan Allen. I, it's not that she wasn't good, but, uh, eh. <laughs> Fair <laughs> like, enough. I, I could have done without her. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? Her hair's too short in that movie. <laughs> yeah, I don't like her short hair. She's gone. Burston, Connolly, Bjork, Yao, Linny. 
I got Burstyn, Bjork, Connolly, Yao, and Roberts. You gave it to Julia Roberts. Maybe I'll give it to Julia Roberts. We're we're done. We're I we're I'm ending gonna, the no, podcast. Uh, I'm going to three say, awards early. I'm going to say that this is probably her best acting role. Great. So <laughs> so. So what? So there's nothing wrong with giving it to her if it's her best acting role. Besides, I'm giving it to... I mean, Pop Sensation Bureau Pauly Taylor. Shore also had a best acting role. That doesn't mean he gets the Oscar that year. Your logic is faulty. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you don't get an Oscar for a personal best if you're dog uh, shit. Lots of people get Oscars for personal bests. <laughs> Yeah, but sometimes the personal best is good. I guess that's fair. And sometimes it's Julia Roberts or Pauly Shore, two actors I put on the same level. <laughs> you don't like Julia Roberts as her character in Ocean's 13, but she looks like Julia Roberts. So then Bruce Willis playing himself oh, oh, no, isn't I, no. in love with this no. girl who looks exactly like Julia Roberts? Correct. Okay. Uh, I, I gave it to Jennifer Connelly for Requiem for a Dream. I gave it to you, Bjork. You don't go ass to ass without winning an Oscar. Look, respect <laughs> to ass to ass. <laughs> Connelly got a supporting last year. Yeah. And is a very close second this year. Mm -hmm. But fucking Bjork gets the Oscar. Icelandic pop sensation Bjork. Loved her. Loved her. Was Dancer in the Dark the last movie I watched for this whole project. Probably. Yes, it was. Because? Just because I way knew it would be good and it's the way it worked out. Did I cry at the last movie I watched? Yes. Wow! I don't think I cried, but I watched it a while ago. Uh, right. Uh, it's, it's very spoilery. Like, it, right before the end. Okay, yeah, I can't. I can't imagine uh, anyone listening has seen the movie, unless no. you're like a big Bjork fan. I don't think. Von Von Trier people. Yeah, but it wasn't like a mainstream movie. It wasn't mainstream, but and it's also very hard to find like between 2000 and now. Yeah. If you're if, like if you were only looking for hard copies, let's say, which what kind of weirdo would do that? Uh, <laughs> very hard to find any form of yeah. physical media unless you steal it from the school you worked at hey. uh, right before you left. In which case, you would have a DVD copy of the it. The lesson is, get a job at a film school and steal. Correct. Uh, okay, best actor. The original winner was uh, Russell Crowe for Gladiator. He's on the bubble for me. He's not for me. Okay. Uh, I also on the bubble for me is Javier Bardem for Before Night Falls. Javier is in for me. I also uh, Tom Hanks is in for me. I think Tom Hanks is in. Ed Harris, I didn't watch Pollock, so he's not in for me. Harris is probably in, but we'll see. And Jeffrey Rush for Quills is in for me. Jeffrey Rush is in for me. So in for me for sure is Hanks and Rush. Okay. On the bubble are Crow and Bardem. What else you got? I also got George Clooney for Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Uh -huh. I have Chow Yun Fat for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Yep. And I have Jared Leto for Requiem for a Dream. Okay. So those four, four, two, four, six, well, two, four, I five. I guess I can cross Five out. are fighting it out for the last three. I guess I can cross out John Turturro. Yeah, probably. So we got Jeffrey Rush, Javier Bardem. Tom Hanks, yeah, John Malkovich, Shadow of the Vampire. Yeah, he was in, he was uh, in consideration for me, but I had to cut. Something. Where is the vampire? Fuck face. Where is the vampire? <laughs> Fuck face. You are not a vampire. Fuck face. <laughs> maybe Ed Harris. Maybe Chow Yun Fat. Maybe Mark Ruffalo. You can count oh, on me. Oh, Marky Ruff. Yeah. God, what a gorgeous head of hair. Yeah, gorgeous head of hair. Thick, thick. He's he's also got something else that's thick. He's a, he's a double thick double hog. Um, huh. I I honestly don't know who I'm cutting. I, I really like this is this is the hardest for me because I like it's a tough all one. of these performances. One, two, three, four, and for sure I I'm gonna cut. He's cut. Gonna cut one of the few non-white people as I am want to do. Javier Bardem. Apologize. No, Javier's in. Oh, Javier's in. Uh, apologize. Apologies to Mr. Yun Fat. Chow Yun Fat. I want to... It's Harris or Ruffalo. Gotcha. 
I fuck it, Ruffalo. Really torn on who I want. I got to my five. Keep. I'm going to keep. Oh, I like this character. <laughs> Uh, okay, I cut. Uh, I also cut Mr. Yun Fat. So, what do you got? Who are your Who are your Fab Five? My Fab Five: Jalen Rose, as follows. That's the only one I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Larry Bird. Larry, Larry Bird, Zonka. Larry Zonka. <laughs> uh, Dick Butkus. <laughs> By the way. Why? Come on. <laughs> the best name ever. <laughs> Come dick on. butt kiss. It, it's literally implying gay sex. Yeah. It's unbelievable. He wants his dick to kiss your butt. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to give he wants you to give him a hand job with your ass. With your ass. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, sorry, your 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 fab five. Javier Bardem, John Malkovich, Tom Hanks, Jeffrey Rush, Mark Ruffalo. Okay. Yeah. I got Jeffrey Rush, Jared Leto. George Clooney, Tom Hanks, and I kept Russell Crowe. Okay. I think Russell, this is, For, the, this is the only, one of the only good Russell Crowe performances, so I'm going to keep him because I, uh, I enjoy his personality. <laughs> I enjoy his personality off camera. Yes. I enjoy everything he stands for. Throw um, a phone at a bellhop. Baby. I love that uh, he got divorced and then all he did after getting divorced was just talk shit about his wife on like uh yeah. on talk shows and stuff yeah. very funny okay. um i mean for me in my mind this is one of the big wrong person won awards um because tom hanks the right person should have been tom hanks i yeah. mean it's a one man it's a one on an show. island and he's like the, like the character is very likable but there's so much like uh, realistic sadness and like grief yeah and then not only all the island stuff but the whole time he's on the island and he he's thinking about helen hunt and yeah. then he comes back and it's like devastating it's not the same <laughs> like the, ah, it's just the yeah. whole movie fucking tom hanks all the way not even a question yeah, I had Tom Hanks written down. The only other one I was thinking was Jeffrey Rush, who's a goddamn delight. So good. In Quills. So good. A goddamn delight. That, that for me, that might have been my... He my... wrote porn <laughs> with his own shit. Can we be clear? <laughs> Any other year, Jeffrey, you're in. <laughs> yeah. Buddy, I, I you, think, Jeffrey, you did nothing wrong. <laughs> I think that was my biggest surprise of how good of a movie it was. I did, did you watch it for this? Yes, me too. Yeah, because I thought it would be a like I I thought it would be some gay period. Like shit. I know it's Marquis de Sade, and there's lots of shit that goes on, literal but, shit, and yeah. also not that goes on with the Marquis de Sade. But it's an, be it's a early like you know that in that late 90s to 2000s period piece movies that I thought would be about, all about and like all those period piece movies are to me like they're you, all movies that are just play, trying to win best you, costume but, design but you yeah yeah you take a play yeah. and you literally just film the play it's a film yeah a film you play. don't make adjustments to it being a movie yeah so to me I was like oh it's probably going to be that there'll probably be some sex stuff yeah but it'll be like nope that's I was very happy with it it was pretty sick yeah yeah and uh, Joaquin, good supporting role in this one, too. Yes. Yes. Uh, can't. But yeah. I'll can't go Tom Hanks. Disagree with that. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, to me, the two Tom Hanks roles of uh, Castaway and Saving Private Ryan are the two mm -hmm. biggest fucking slaps in the face <laughs> of, like, the wrong person winning. And Castaway, the year 2000, the last time Tom Hanks was nominated for Best Actor. Yep. That's wild. I, he, I mean, he's done some stuff. He's done some stuff, but I don't know that he's done a, a lot that was 
notable. I feel like he's done stuff that could get not not necessarily win, but get nominated. Like, I mean, I like Road to Perdition. Road to Perdition. I think he was good in that. Catch Me If You Can. He was, but Catch Me If You Can is he the lead? He's 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 probably supporting. I think we nominated him for support. We we did, Um, but he's done things. Yeah, but nothing on like nothing of the caliber of of being a lead. Yeah, Bridges. I like Bridges Spies. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Cat, you got Road to Perdition, Catch Me If You Can, The Lady Killers is bad. I mean, I love The Terminal, but it's not getting nominated. Da Vinci Code, pff, uh, Charlie Wilson's War. It's pretty good. Uh, Angels and Demons, Toy Story 3, Larry Crown, Extremely Nobody's Loud and Incredibly Crown. Autistic, yeah. Cloud Atlas, Cloud Captain Atlas. Phillips, he Saving should... Mr. Banks. I mean, no, he should have gotten nominated for Captain Phillips. Yeah, I think so. For sure. I think so, yeah, yeah. And Bridges, no, that doesn't have to win, but that's a yeah. nomination. Bridges Spies, too. I think and he Bridges also Spies. could have been. Yeah. Um, Sully, Inferno. Maybe even Sully. The, the Post. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not like he's doing... Yeah, no, he's He's gotten fucked a couple times. I feel like he's doing more movies that he wants to do that he thinks are interesting or good. Yeah. As opposed to just taking big name... Like, like Hollywood blockbuster Like a hologram movies. for the king. The best movie he's ever done. You know, have you seen it? No. Then watch it before you shit talk it. It's good. I mean, I don't think it's bad. It's just like a kind of yeah, small true. movie. It's like salmon fishing in Yemen. <laughs> yes. Like, good movie, but, but no one sees it. Right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think this is like the big uh, slap in the face of... He should have won. He should have won for this one for sure. I don't know what more he could have done. Uh, I don't know. Been a gladiator, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I get the gladiator nom and win. Like again, it's the same thing. It's about physically demanding roles. I mean, and Russell Crowe was like a, a big, huge up and comer. Hanks's was liter- also physically. That demanding. is true. That is true. But little did we know that uh, Russell Crowe was going to get really fat, super, fat. and then just do movie roles where he gets to sit down the majority of the time. The Russell Crowe's most Russell Crowe role is the nice guys. Yes, that's what he was born to play. And also, he was fat. And also, he was fat. Yeah, but it's it, that's but the com- right comedy thing for- kind of a dick. Yeah, fat gets to sit down a lot. Exactly. Yeah, not as much as Steven Seagal, who who can't mm-hmm. stand up. Who's anymore. literally in a movie where he sits on a chair as a sniper the whole movie. Sniper special ops. Sniper, sniper, sniper special ed with with Van Dam, but I thought it was Jean Claude, but it was <laughs> Rob. Yep. Um, okay, so uh, best director. Uh, this one was tough for me. So the one, original two, winner was Steven Soderbergh for... Who both won traffic. and was nominated for another movie. And I have both of those in contention. I've got... Two, four, He's six, in contention eight. for traffic I've got for me. ten. I've got four gotta have it, and then <laughs> And then I've got four love it's. I am now going on the uh, Cold Stone sizing scale. Gotcha. Is Cold Stone still a thing in Canada, in Vancouver? I, think, I haven't seen one in forever. I think the only one in Greater Vancouver is... Is the Tim Hortons Cold Stone combo in Coquitlam? Is the Tim Hortons Cold Stone combo, I think it still exists on Granville, downtown. No, it's gone. It's gone. The whole Tim Hortons is gone. Oh. Every, that whole building is... Not the building, sorry, but like huh. Tim, Tim Hortons, gone. Oh. Goldstone, gone. Yeah, I thought that was the last no. one. So maybe I'm not there's even, something in Coquitlam. I'm not even sure. Well, we went to the one in Coquitlam, but I'm not sure if it's still there. I that was a while in, ago. I haven't been in a while. Yeah. I know there's tons of marble slabs still, but yeah. I, don't, I haven't seen any Goldstones in a while. Okay, yeah, so Brock, uh, sorry, Soderbergh for traffic and Brockovich, I have both in contention. Yeah. I actually, this is the first category where I don't have like three sets and the rest are fighting it out like it's literally all of them are fighting it out for the five yeah like i got so okay so um i have steven steven soderbergh for traffic in yeah. contention i kept steven daldry for billy elliott in contention uh ang lee crutchy tiger hidden dragon yeah soderbergh for brockovich and ridley scott for gladiator yeah so all of the five nominated i have could be him you don't have steven daldry and you don't have soderbergh for brockovich Correct. Do you have Ridley Scott for Gladiator? Potentially. And do you have Ang Lee for Crush Tiger and Dragon? Potentially. Okay. So I assume we both added Darren Aronofsky for Requiem for a Dream. Yes. I assume we both added Coen's for O Brother Where Art Thou. Yes. And here is the oh correction. That we said it was only Joel. Did you also notice that for some reason in the late 90s, early 2000s, all the Coen movies are 
just credited to Joel. And then it says and uncredited Ethan Uncredited. Coen. They're all still Coen Brothers movies. I don't know, movies, why. So I don't I don't know, know. why, but it maybe is. It's, maybe it's a matter of who directs the majority. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe Ethan's doing more of the writing, producing, and he's doing like B camera directing or maybe. something. But I just wanted to say, because did I give it to? No, no. I just nominated you just it nominated for, it. Yeah. yeah. But it, it, it should be the Coens and not just Joel yeah. for um, the man who wasn't there in 2001. Yeah. And same thing for this. Yeah. It is the Coens. Um, I assume both of us, Lars von Trier, do answer in the dark? Yes. I maybe assume both of us, Philip Kaufman Quills? No. No? And then I also have Robert Zemeckis for Castaway. Okay. No Inurito for Mars Paros? Um, here's the thing. It's not that it's not good. Uh, to me, I think the directing and the visuals of it are like of a very amateur young director. And gotcha. I think it's only because it's Inurito. If I think if Inurito didn't go on to greater things, I don't know that that movie would get talked about as not, much. Not as unlike it. your Corons and your Tambians. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like I think it's only because of the name value of who he is now, but mm-hmm. that that movie is like good, not great. I I liked it a lot. So and I, I, I damn, I, there's a lot of dead dogs in that movie. There's a lot of dead dogs. <laughs> if you like dead dogs. Do I have a movie for you? Absolutely. Um, yeah. Honestly, it's re- it's gonna be really hard for me to cut down. Like, I know who I should cut down if you're looking at who was nominated and the size and scale of the movie. But yeah, I like I want to keep almost all of them. <laughs> I do too. So I okay. I'm I've, gonna I'm gonna cut Stephen Daldry for Billy Elliot because as much as I like that movie, I don't think it's better than some of the other ones nominated. I yeah. think I'm also just cutting both Steven Soderbergh movies. Uh, it's not that I don't like Traffic or Aaron Brockovich, yeah. but he's done. He does better stuff. Yeah, the like, informant. The, the informant, which I legitimately I really legitimately like. Legitimately like the informant too. And it's got an exclamation mark at the end. The <laughs> informant. The informant. I think I'm gonna cut Phil Philip Kaufman for Quills. Um, I just I feel also like the, cut Soderbergh. Okay. So, two, four, I got six. So I gotta cut one, and, and I'm, I'm not s- gonna... I've got one that hasn't been mentioned yet. Oh! E. Elias Merhig for Shadow of the Vampire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's actually some cool stuff done in it, because like, they use some, some like cool silent stuff. film techniques yeah. in it and stuff, which is yeah. pretty cool. So, he's in the bubble. I think Cohen's are in, I think Aronofsky's in, I think Trier's in, and I think the rest is up for grabs. <laughs> in Yuritu, Ang Lee... Mirhige, Mirhig, I think. You don't know. And Ridley Scott. You don't know. So, I almost want to keep Ang Lee. It's very impressive. It's very impressive. Right? It's very, very impressive. Yeah. I'm not gonna it's give it. It's the same thing as us having the discussion about um, about Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Like, he took an old school type of film yeah. that you would see back in the earlier days of. Hong Kong Chinese cinema and made it so cutting and edge. made it super modern. Yeah, which is very very cool. Ang's in, and also uh, got him the sick gig of uh, directing two men uh, and a baby. spitting on their penis and then just putting it in the butt. Yes, and also got him the Hulk. Quite, I, forgot, I forgot it got him the Hulk first. It got him the Hulk. Sorry, first. just Hulk, not the Hulk. Yes, just Hulk. Uh, yeah, it was Ang Lee's Hulk. I uh, and Ang Lee doing the Hulk. And I would like to apologize to Mr. Ang Lee that he's uh from Taiwan, not China, which are two, two different, different countries. countries, John Cena. John Chinese. John Chinese. Oh, I, I feel like I was gonna look something up and now I forgot what I was looking up. We, we said Ang Lee a- Ang Lee spitting on dicks. But it wasn't Peter Jackson. Shit, I don't know what it was. You keep talking, I'm gonna think. What was I looking <laughs> at? Could not tell. Oh no no no, no I got, got you, it. I got you. What is it? Uh, well, I was just going to say that uh, Mr. E. Elias Merhij. Uh What the fuck has he done? Not a clue. Couldn't tell you another movie. Suspect Zero, and he hasn't made anything since 2007. And it was a video short. <laughs> so what features has he made? Uh, Shadow of the Vampire. Uh-huh. Suspect Zero. Done. 
Okay. And Suspect Zero is like a bad psychological thriller starring uh, Sir Ben Kingsley and Aaron Eckhart. Huh. And it's bad. I like both of those guys. And but, uh... let's see. Writer, nothing. Producer, nothing. Cinematographer, nothing. Huh. So he literally had like a one hit. And then... Sometimes everything comes together. Uh, the only other cre- like noted credit he has is some black and white low budgety horror thing he did in 1989 hmm. starring no one and yeah so he's he's really just a one hit wonder much like um uh fuck i can never remember his name uh i'm gonna pull it real quick here um oh tom k the guy who did American, American History X, X. Uh, and then he did he did one it's... other movie with he did Detachment with Adrian Brody in 2011. It's not even ring a bell. And that's it. Huh? Yeah, it's interesting. But I, I feel like people a lot of that. them are people that do either do uh, short films, they do experimental films, or they do music videos, music videos, or they have another job that directing isn't even their job. Yeah. And they just do one thing. Tom Ford. Tom Ford, yeah. Um, I want another Tom Ford movie, by the way. Yeah, well, you got to wait another, uh, I don't know, six years? Six years. <laughs> I don't think he has anything in development that I've seen. He's done two? He's done th- Three? Uh, nope. Single man, Nocturnal Animals. Two for two. And then 2017, he did a video short. That's it. Nothing in production. Come on, Tom. Quit doing fashion. Nobody cares about yeah. clothes. Make Where? a cool movie. Uh, yeah. He's got nothing. So, I mean, he's two for two, so... I want Jake Gyllenhaal's family Wait. to get brutally raped. So, seven years between a single man, Nocturnal Animals, and yeah. Nocturnal Animals was 2016... So 2023? 2023? Maybe 2024, the Maybe. good year. Oh. Yeah. Keeps on coming. And they don't uh, stop coming. All right. Anyways, back to uh, back to what we're talking about. I'm down to six. Down to six. I'm also down to six. Or am I five? One, two, three. Nope. That looks like six to me. <laughs> I'm... I'm between Ridley Scott and Inuritu. You would say Ridley Scott. That's the thing. Ridley Scott is one of my favorite directors. Yeah. And I think Gladiator is is in the same conversation as, uh, like, as far as production size and maybe not creating unique things like Lord of the Rings. But, but scope. Just, like, the all massive that. scale of making that movie. Yeah. And it's one of those, it's one of the last, um... Not in not in the visuals or the way that it's filmed, but it's one of the last dudes rock movies. It's one, uh, it's one of those last old school Hollywood type productions. Old school Hollywood baseball. Of, Jack Girardi's ten feet tall. Little system of down for it. Yeah. Uh, you know, along the lines of Ben Hur or like Cleopatra or the or the Ten Commandments or something. Like it's it's the last movie of that that yeah. so, that's like. All, everything's a built set. Everything's real extras. Old school epic. Old school epic. It's the yeah. really the last old school epic yeah. that happens. So I think to me, I can't cut them because I feel like doing that kind of production is so fucking difficult. Tony Danza cuts in line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be thinking about the song all. <laughs> it's a good song. Yeah. Because it's <sighs> was it, it was, the song's about like they did like a celebrity baseball thing and all yeah. these old celebrities were fucking assholes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, I I got my five. I kept Ridley. I booted in your retu just for you. Thank you. Even though you didn't have to. Uh, you uh, I I Ooh. I don't like I don't like who I'm gonna cut, but I'm gonna cut him. You don't like who you've become. I don't. I fuck. I didn't, I've never liked who I've become. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cut Lars von Trier. Oh, for answer in the dark. Oh, that's a hard one. But I I think I, it's a wrong one. Well, good for you. <laughs> So, you know we used a hundred cameras, right? I'm aware. And okay. no lights. And no lights. And no lights. And did you know... But that- he cheated. There were lights on the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> That's how uh, he got he, away with it. He put a flag outside of a window, so his name's taken off the movie. <laughs> That's, That's right. uh, the celebration. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. I, I, so I got Ang Lee, Ridley Scott, Darren Aronofsky, uh, the Coen brothers, and Robert Zemeckis. Aronofsky, Coen's, Trier... Ang Lee, Ridley Scott. 
Uh, so the only difference is that you uh, kept Lars and I have Zemeckis. Yes. I think I want to go Ang Lee. Like, a like I said, like revolutionizing an old school type of film, like style, and making it like this masterful modern epic. Yeah, is this another one where I give Ang Lee best director and not best picture? <laughs> <laughs> Done that at least once. Yeah. Maybe twice. Maybe twice. Huh. Yeah, I think I think I, I will... it's that Aronofsky. Yeah, I mean Ar- Aronofsky's got a lot of cool, conceptually weird, unique stuff in it. Yeah, uh, but it also, to me, it also does feel like kind of amateurish a lot. I don't think the Requiem for a Dream is that amateurish. I think it's not. It's you know, it's not as fancy as a. It's not Noah. As as a Noah type, <laughs> obviously, it doesn't have the the Dar- experience and the skill. Darren Aronofsky's a real. We should have never given you N words money. Yeah. Hey, here's a big budget to make a big movie. Okay, I'm going to do same, Jesus. Same, same with Lars von Trier, but they never really gave him money. He just started making worse movies. Yeah. No, he just got kicked out of Dogma. And I guess he got kicked out of Dogma. Things. <laughs> oh, now I can use lights and, like, torture porn? Done. <laughs> so Don't even have to tell me twice. Aronofsky or Ang Lee. I know what you're gonna do. I think you're wrong. You're going Aronofsky. That's what I was gonna thought you were gonna do. I see. Well, then you're right. Because you like white people over Asians, so, and you think Taiwan yeah. and China are the same country. No. No. I draw a line somewhere. No. You do not. So you're going. I Aron- think Hong going Kong Aronofsky? is a different country, but Taiwan is definitely part of China. Is that a weird take? Yes. <laughs> what about Macau? Macau is part of Japan. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going Aronofsky? Yes. Okay. Uh, so best picture. The original winner was Gladiator. Didn't keep it. It's in contention, but I have six. Uh, I think I did. I actually do five for this. Winner. One, two, three, four. Boom. There you go. Uh, I didn't keep Shock a lot. No. Uh, I kept Crouch and Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I didn't. I didn't keep Aaron Brockovich, and I didn't keep Traffic. No. I got Gla- I got Gladiator. I got uh-huh. Crouch and Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Uh-huh. I got Requiem for a Dream. Yep. I got Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Yep. I got Castaway, and I got Shadow of the Vampire. So one's got to go. Ah, gotcha. Well, here's what I'm dealing with. I got a Brother, Where Art Thou? I got Requiem for a Dream. I got Shadow of the Vampire. I got Dancer in the Dark, and I got a Morris Paris. Hmm. Someone's an artsy fartsy fag. I guess I am. I don't Damn. like big budget movies. I only like the foreign language ones that make me seem smart. <laughs> well, literally, that's why I had to watch so many fucking <laughs> movies for this. Yeah. Because, like, literally, especially the years 2000 through 2009, any, like major Oscar movie. I'm like, oh, that's commercial bullshit. And I didn't watch it. Goddamn hipster. I know. And it and it I don't know if it's better or worse cuz like I didn't even it's not like I forced that on other people. I barely even like talked to other people about it. Like it was just me. I don't know if it's worse to be like earnestly a hipster about it or if it's worse to like be vocal about it. Hmm. That is tough. Both are bad in their own way. Yeah, yeah. Ne- neither one's a good look. No. It just depends which one you want to look like. Uh, I'm going to cut Shadow of the Vampire, not because I don't like it, but because it's not as good as the other five I, 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 I think that's the wrong answer. I think, okay. you're, I think you did a bad job. Yep, yeah, sure. <laughs> <clears throat> so, who's your winner? We're obviously not going to have... Oh, I, I, I guess we have... Three of the two of the same. One, we have two. two. Of the same. Uh, I I think in my head I think I know what you're gonna say. But okay. You don't know what I'm gonna say. I'm not sure what you're gonna say. What do you think I'm gonna say? I think you're gonna say Requiem for a Dream. I think you're right. Okay. Is that what you thought? Did you think I was gonna split director picture? Or? No, I thought you would go both. Yeah. You're right. Uh, I know how much of a big fan of Mother you are, and so it's you can't good. give Mother an Oscar. So, uh, what do you, would that I could give Mother an Oscar? What do you think I said? 
So your f- my five are Gladiator, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Requiem for a Dream, or Brother War with Aaron Castaway. I think Ooh. I don't think you'll do Gladiator. You're correct. Um, you could do Castaway, but that's more about the actor than maybe the whole movie. I but isn't the actor the whole the movie? The actor is, is largely the whole movie. Uh, I don't think you'll do Oh Brother with Art, though, because it's very good, very fun. Not the best Coen's movie. Um, could do Requiem for a Dream. And Did I name all your things, or am I missing Crouching Tiger. One? And you could do Crouching Tiger. That's on the table. Um, what are you? And you gave Ang Lee Best Director. Yeah. Which could mean Crouching Tiger. Is it Crouching Tiger? It's not Crouching Tiger. It's Castaway. It's Castaway. Okay. It's Castaway. Yeah. All right. I I, that, it, was, it was Castaway, Requiem, or Crouching Scott, Tiger, I thought. What What is one type of movie that I very man much Man versus like? nature. Man, That's right. Man versus nature, and especially who my favorite actor of all time is, is Tom Hanks. Yeah. So you're going to put Tom Hanks against nature? I'm going to like it. That's true. It's no, uh, it's no Robert Redford in Always a lost. in a ship with no dialogue. Yeah, but lost at sea. But you know, it's still pretty good. Um, this podcast is two hours and fifteen minutes. Holy guys. shit! I mean, we we had a big <laughs> we preamble. preambled so much. Well, guys, uh, expect a pretty short wrestling podcast on monday <laughs> i think we got most of the other stuff out of our we're gonna system have nothing to talk today about. unless unless we have a very interesting lunch yeah so we'll see how that goes yeah i was thinking we have been going a while we have but uh when you're having fun scott it's not work if you working do, hard or hardly working you oh, hardly you, working if you do something you love you never work a day in your life that is true or, uh, or if you don't get a job, you'll never work a day in your life. That is correct, too. Both um, solid options. So, madam. 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 But it is a wafer thin mint. <laughs> uh, what do we have for our lovely audience? Do we have a secret letter? Do we have is a that secret what you're letter? Asking? Should we remind them to follow us at not, not Scott Henson and at Ooh, Syrian A Softballs rare double plug. One the, per hour. The, the internet. Uh, and also give us some money, please. For the love of God, give us some money. PayPal.me slash Not Scott Henson. Secret letter is I. I'm going to say goodbye now.